And we're live on the twitch.tv slash the assumer and I can't double check because that's not set up correctly. Now I can see that we are. Oh, I'm slightly out of breath. I've been running up and down stairs, making a cup of tea, pressing all the buttons, pushing all the dials, making sure everything's good to go. And I think we are correctly set up for a live stream. It's been slightly stressful because uh, today is a big deal, right? It's a big deal and there's a lot of you here. And thank you all for tuning in. I'm sure you're all very excited uh, to hang out with us today. Hermitcraft Season 9 will start in the future. It does not start today. We're doing a little event uh, in the wake of some misfortune and whatnot. And we're going to have like a community brainstorm event. Make some plans. Do a little building together. Stuff like that. And I kicked off my stream a little earlier because I had a feeling that this might happen. A lot of you tuning in. Lots of noises in the air. So for the first few minutes before we join the others, just want to say thank you to Dragon Onesie for three months, Josh Pedders with the Prime, E Francine with the Prime as well, and hello to everyone. There's so many are saying hello in chat right now. What is my thing? So Twitch tells me I have zero viewers. It takes a while to update. It seems like there's a heck of a lot. It's been a while since I've seen chat move that fast. Bait and Daniel, thank you for 12 months. For Breedum, thank you for the Prime. Manu Mission 247, thank you for four months of support. Happy Season 9 Day. Season 9 has not started yet. Uh, Ism Ish, thank you for 14 months of support. Uh, apparently, we've immediately jumped to over 2,000 viewers. This is what I thought might happen. Uh, Newbie Y, Uncle Taco, thank you for the Prime subscriptions. I don't think I've. 4K? I don't think I've ever seen the viewership jump up that high. You know, as a member of Hermitcraft, I speak purely for myself now. I've been a little anxious about, geez, it's been a while. Will people still care when we start off Season 9 again? Y'all are telling me right now, you absolutely care. And that's amazing, because we're going to have a wonderful season when it starts. Uh, Techno881, Hexalot01, thank you for the Prime. Liquinzel, thank you for the cheers and biddies. Tuna Thish, thank you for the prime. Kaisden Ham, that Christopher for 73 months. And what happens when we have an Evil X on the screen? Evil X jumps onto the other side of the screen. This is a new feature of uh, my streaming setup. Sax Il You Live, thank you for gifting a sub to Zumo. Gifted subs, they get an animation too. McVane, Maya Thakar, Sir GXXVI. Uh, Dragon Onesie, Sunrise Algae, thank you for the cheers and bits. We've got T7 Fox, Ace Ashkia with the Prime, The Inny Bean, Heretic Evil, <laughs> Ikazu for six months, Monty SS for, with the Prime, The Finky for nine, Blaine 48, Dragosh 91. I cannot believe just how many people are here. Um, it still says 2,300 for me. Apparently, we're up to 4,000, 5,000 now. This is. Okay, my fears have been set aside. Her the Hermitcraft community is strong. Sally Ann, one, two, three. 75 months in a row. Muddy Evil, thank you for the prime. Callum Fight, thank you for 49 months. Your support is incredible here. To Jamming, thank you for 69 months. Callum Fife, did I, 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 I read that one. SKSK, thank you for the prime. Right, I will join the others on the hour. Spokey Doki, thank you for 47 months. Incredible. We are going to take your streams to 100k views. I'm very doubtful it will be that many. But uh, I am truly grateful to see so many of you are still uh, very interested in Hermitcraft. We got uh, Jevin and Doc joining us today. Rem will be joining later on, as I understand it. Apricot Bubbles is here for three months. Browse Swat is gifting a sub to Canna Russia. And Abusingly Trank is here with the Prime. Thank you so much for your support, peeps. I will say it several times. Uh, I'm going to have to ignore some of the noises here and there while we hang out with the other hermits, and I'll definitely be popping back to say thank you. Uh, Canna Russia, thank you for passing it on with another gifted sub to Babel Works. That gives me an excuse to show you the animations. CRP200 is here for two months as well. And I got uh, another animation I want to share with all of you as well. I got a hot cup of tea right here. I don't want to let this cup of tea get cold. And I'm going to be distracted a lot today. So be sure to remind me in chat. Uh, Sunrise 
Agali, thank you for two months of support. Greatly appreciated. Rad Animation, says Ikazu in chat. They are awesome, aren't they? Gigahertz, thank you for the Prime. Happy Cat, thank you for three months. Incredible. You know, I want to have a sip and it's going to be too hot. I know it. But I deliberately put it in the mug that cools down quicker because it's got a larger surface area. Mm. Spyware, thank you for three months. Random Pickle, thank you for the cheers and biddies. Uh, YT Junkie. Coronux, thank you for the primes. Apparently we're at 6k. We got a hype train. Fozzy, good to see you in chat, my friend. You know, I, I, I'm i starting to get a good feeling about the next season. I've already got a lot of inspiration. Um, and a wonderful starter build, actually. I've had it for a while. Had it prepped for a while. Jiffy J13, thank you for 60 months. That's Evil X territory, is it? I think that's Evil X. I'm going to play the animation. Lecafart, thank you for the prime. And Ixayo J2, thank you for gifting subs to Fadamina Gucci, your mama Claire, Haley Bailey, Rylacea, Entity Clip. If you hear your name being read out loud, always be sure to say thanks in the chat. And Arjun Matt 99 thank you for 29 months. And AMC Heard, thank you for six. You don't care how long we'll have to wait for season nine. I'd rather all the hermits feeling ready when they have a season where a lot of hermits feel burned out. Dude, thank you so much for the support. Uh, that's what we need as content creators. We need your support. You know, and I appreciate you saying that. Lil Quinzel, thank you for the cheers and bits. Befex D, thank you for the prime. Ema Star for two months. Darian Darkstar, thank you for subscribing. Tremendous. Apparently we're at 7k viewers. Goodness me. Who remembers the uh, the Season 7 and season, season 8 live streams? I think Season 7 was the biggest I ever had with over 10k. Which is kind of, uh, kind of crazy right there. Anyway, we will join the others in a minute. We'll have uh, a bit of an announcement and an explanation as to what's going on again for all of you tuning in. Has live streams. Thank you for three months. Alazaria Honey Plays, thank you for nine. Greatly appreciated. We need a uh, we need a baby animation, right? I've got a notepad open for today's stream because I want to take ideas and uh, inspirations and thoughts. And one of them is to make a Twitch baby emote. That might be a little tricky, actually, because hmm, I don't know if the Puka can make like me as a baby in a Minecraft model, you know. Load Nikon, thank you for 53 months. Iron Mermaids, thank you for subscribing. Grey Stover, thank you for 14. And Diachter, thank you so much for the donation. Always a pleasure, X. Much love to you and all the hermits. Appreciate it, my dude. Fozzy, thank you for gifting a sub to Ollie D. We've got Lexanum here with the Prime. Raylicia with the cheers and the biddies. No Boom Gaming, thank you for the Prime. Jemets, <laughs> thank you for six months. Becca, thank you for gifting a sub to Crown Camelot. The support is tremendous. Apparently we're at 8k. I can barely believe what's going on. Right, I cannot ignore my fellow hermits any longer. Thank you for your support. I will be periodically tuning back in with you and saying thanks. And uh, Joe is here. Hello, Joe. No, wait, I'm still muted. Now I'm not muted. Hello, Joe. Hello, Asuma. Hi. How are you? I am feeling really good because I've had this thought in the back of my mind that we've been away for a while. And that, you know, maybe some of the audience have moved on, but the amount of people on my stream right now, and there's loads of people very excited to hear that you're here too as well. Yeah, I love to see that. You know what? I would like to be even more present though, Asuma. Could you whitelist me on the server, please? Absolutely. My username is Joe Hill Says, and I will jump right in there with you. Let's... Is it two S's? Joe Hill Says. Wait, I am... Yep. Yes. Because my name is Joe Hills, and then I say things. You know, when it, in my brain, it's like when I try and remember someone. Some some are easy, some are not. Like, I always forget if Rendog is Ren the Dog or Rendog, but I uh, I always remember from season one, you typing in chat, and it would always be Joe Hill says, and then it's obviously exactly what you said. <laughs> That's the joke. Dot JPEG. Awesome. Right, we got to get um, Doc and Jev. I'm typing to them in chat. Do you have the IP? Yes, you do. I do, yeah. Awesome. And let me give you OP as well. Thank you so much. So, as far as, like, doing stuff in this world goes, like, I imagine we'll do a lot of talking, but I've also got a little bit of a build idea in mind. Um, I've been thinking about... Do you remember the Season 2 Town Hall that we had? Mm-hmm. I've been thinking about maybe scaling that up and doing it, you know, sort of rebuilding it, but way bigger. 
that's interesting. Um, you know, I'd love to see what that looks like at that scale. Uh, how, how much bigger are you thinking? Do you want to start just marking stuff out with torches on the ground? Like, hey, here's here's how big I'm thinking. Here's some corners. Well, um, I, I, would, I was going to start with quartz blocks specifically to create some pillars. Because I think the way we would have done it in the past was to have a pillar that was like one block. Mm -hmm. So if you think like Roman building style, you space them out maybe three blocks. Sure. Right? I was thinking multiply that by three and have pillars that are three by threes going all the oh. way up. And then stepping back, looking at that, and then figuring out the next bit. Hey, Jeff. Yeah, when I've done my... How you guys doing? Oh, hey, Jeff. I'm doing great. I am blown away by how many people are tuning in. Um, oh, yeah, man. Like, my chat is just full of new new chatters. <laughs> yeah. So. I was saying to Joe, I had a nagging feeling in the back of my mind. Like, oh, we've been away a while. People might have, like, forgotten. Oh. Uh, they haven't. <laughs> nope. And they're going to be in for another wonderful season, I think. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Sweet. Just waiting on Doc to get started here. I think he said mm -hmm. he was doing a pre-show, so we'll get going. Oh, Doc's live guys. too. That's awesome. Are you, are you live, yeah, Joe? Yeah. Uh, no, I've got a stream later on that I'm going to have to cut out from this one to get ready for. Is that your? Is that the music. one with the other hermits? The I don't want to say anything. I shouldn't. Oh so. no no no! We, I am gonna be ready to announce the thing with the other hermits very soon. I'm just getting the image ready to post to Twitter. Yes, so. I was just looking at the image, and does it? Oh, it's March 18th. Right, it, it <laughs> is. I'm looking at it and I'm like, today's the 19th. The <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, that's so yeah. cool. So yeah, I let, let me just uh, have five minutes, and I'll be ready to to. Announce yeah, so, that and then uh, link people. Can uh, mm. I think I'm a VIP on your thing, so I can post links. Yes, I am. So once I have that link posted to Twitter and we talk about it, or we'll be ready to talk about it. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Feel free to throw it in my chat and like let the peeps know. Um, that yeah, Thanks. like. Can you move Doc into this chat? Is well, he... don't move him if he's not ready to talk. Oh, so. Okay, that's fair. Mm. Oh, I see. He is deafened though. I mean, he's probably off attending to little Docky. So. Uh... Yeah. Mm, excuse me, but oh. <clears throat> I'm immediately thinking that making these, making this thing like free wide with pillars is a bit, maybe a bit obnoxiously big. Um. So what are you making? Right. So you remember season two out of town hall? Oh yeah. You know, ever ever since we decided to call this event today a town hall, I've just had that image in my head, and I was oh, thinking yeah. about how we could uh, like scale it up. <laughs> I remember doing like pvp with slip gator in that season and like the little area right there in front of there like so much oh yeah oh we used to kill each other non-stop those were good times man oh yeah back in the day uh -uh. i'm wondering if it's so, the texture itself that makes it feel a bit much yeah, the I way it scales i think they both look very good but is this the season nine map no this is not the season nine map yeah this is this just is a just random a... seed i threw up yeah just, just the server for us to hang out on while we talk. Um, so just to kind of go over a few things, guys. Today, we're going to be talking about the date that, not the launch date, but the initial date that we had and some other times. Uh, we're going to talk about the season a little bit. You will not be getting uh, the actual launch date today, but it's soon. <laughs> so. And Doc's here. Yeah. Welcome, Doc. Yeah. Welcome, Doc. Hey guys, in my chat, how is the audio settings with the other dudes in, in chat? Sounds, uh, sounds good to hear. Uh, like, uh, I think from, it should, should be alright. Or oh, are they too loud or anything? Perfect, good, good. Audio seems fine. Perfect. I love that. Nice. Alright. How are you doing, guys? Really doing good. Well. <laughs> good to be on a Minecraft world with you fools. Yeah, it's 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 been a little while. It's been like eight weeks, right? When we take breaks, uh, I'm always happy to get rid of you for a while, but then I start missing you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just so, got, um, you know, got too used to you guys. <laughs> yeah. I think of seeing Doc's builds everywhere. Breaking the game, lagging the server. This guy, man. It's oh, too much sometimes. <laughs> Have you got more world breaking for the next season? I'm not going to talk. You know... It, that's really a, everything I showed was fixed a day later. <laughs> <laughs> out, and you check the bug tracker fix them. I'm really torn. 
you know, now it's gonna be set the bar high, and it's gonna be really hard to find more of this super crazy stuff. And uh, always need to consider the tech community gonna get mad if if I'm the you know, don't tell it to dog. <laughs> it will make yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so stupid. Uh, but I have some things. <laughs> there, so are things. <laughs> there are things. There um, are things. Yes. So I think Joe had an announcement first. Joe, do you want to go? Oh yeah. Okay, yeah. Wanna, wait, yeah. What time is it? Hey, let's say show time. We wait. We wait officially until 15 past. Yeah, so, so we can I let everybody get here. Yeah, so it's quite early in some time zones, I think. We'll also have to like periodically reiterate what we, the, you know, what we're gonna say. Yeah, but maybe that sounds good. Some, maybe if some of the red Reddit people are watching too, maybe you guys could make a thread, you know, kind of Q and A ish thread, and we could pick some um, and have the info there then you know then when people ask again when is the start date then we can just link to this reddit thread maybe and yeah. we have to say it like a million times that sounds maybe good. reddit thank you for the hype train the day. <laughs> By the yeah way. i've got a crazy hype train going right now <laughs> just blowing yeah. the chat up I'm i'll totally get all you guys after the stream is over i promise <laughs> you know totally overwhelmed i've been chilling being in dad mode for yeah. like six months or long how long our break was and now <laughs> coming back and it's just <laughs> bing bing do you guys also have this stupid thing that when somebody when somebody for the first time posts something now uh the like the there's a marker on it yeah the yeah Twitch chat and it's super annoying it overloads i don't mind it but nah, that's why I always see if somebody subscribes or does something, mm -hmm. and now it always says first chat. Come on, every first chatter say something real quick. <laughs> see, I, I um, get it over with before it all starts, huh? I don't use <laughs> Twitch chat because there's a lot of dead space, and I use a yeah. custom chat that like filters out automated messages and stuff like that. So Twitch yeah. add all of these uh, features, and then I'm just completely clueless as to what's going on. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know. I was like, is it called uh, chatty? Nice. It's uh, it's just part of Streamlabs. <laughs> oh, and, and you okay, can yeah. also customize wow. the CSS. So I put it in dark um, mode, so yeah. it's easier to read as well, which is nice. You know, that's how you there's... get your lurkers to say something. My chat is going crazy with high and. <laughs> yeah, I've got a lot <laughs> yeah, of that as well. A, there's <laughs> another one that's kind of the same thing. It's called Chatty. It's really good. Does um, it have uh, any additional features? Bro. You know, I haven't used it in a while. I couldn't tell you. What do you generally drink? Oh, right now I'm drinking a cup of tea. I just drink water and tea throughout the day, and before I do a workout, I have a coffee, and that's pretty much all I drink. I, I got addicted to Orangina at the moment, man. What's ah. that? Orangina, that's a, so, that's a soda. Ah. Um, it's a Spanish, I mean, uh, like Fanta, or oh, orange soda. Sounds but, good, yeah. But it's Spanish, and it comes in these little cute pear shaped glass bottles and cold is the perfect drink because it's not as you know sweet oh, it's just oh you and install world at a rad okay I need cool to stop it's it has a lot of sugar and it's expensive yeah <laughs> uh, when i like um. when i when i you know we have our a guy that brings the dr uh, the drinks um delivers it and, and stuff and when i ordered orangina he looked at me all as strangeness and bring me the small glass bottles six <laughs> crates <laughs> he was like, all dude with like 10 <laughs> bottles of this drink like <laughs> he's like what's crates, going on here man small yeah. bottles <laughs> and he said i need to look that's if I have so them. funny <laughs> had to Guys, order thank them you especially. Oh. So, what's the town hall for? We have no idea. I don't know if the town hall is going to look like that. What it's town hall, like open town hall, can maybe be a bit misleading. Like, what is an open town hall? Open town hall is the governors, which are us, <laughs> come to their constituents, which is you guys in the chat, and you can answer questions, and we answer them. Yeah, we I feel really like I'm up. making this confusing by also building a town hall. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> Today like is a town hall a is idea. just sort yeah. of getting everybody on the same page. We're gonna we're gonna talk about some things that we went through and you know trying to figure out what we were gonna settle for the date and you know why there was a bunch of confusion around the date and things like yeah. that. Talk about the season some, answer questions. Yeah. 
So no. we do want to build actually something that is going to sit at spawn. We're not quite sure yet. Like season uh, eight, we had the spawn act, uh, which Joe, I think, most mainly made. Or was it? Well, Pearlescent Jenny Moon did the, uh, Pearlescent uh, Moon did the uh, visual design and most yeah. of the building for the egg. Isuma and I gathered materials. And so at spawn this uh, season, Zombie Cleo and I have been planning to build a hermits helping hermits uh, kind of uh, supply structure, which serves a completely different purpose from the town hall that Asuma's talking about. So I don't think these two ideas are in conflict. But basically, day one, the plan for Cleo and I is that we're going to set up a bunch of chests and storage areas for all the things that people will need if they die while they're out there trying to record their first episode so they can get right back there in the action. And uh, so, yeah, I'm excited to see what uh, Isuma comes up with from an architectural standpoint here and whether or not Cleo and I put our storage thing next to it or inside of it or I, if it's I will say this is thing. this is not a first build like I, I thought it might be fun to build something big and extravagant that we build like way later in the season so oh, yeah, God, this will be in I, conflict I was, with, with nothing <laughs> i was yeah. just uh, banking on gem and pearl or something joining later and then written something crazy out and i'll yeah. be like yeah we'll do that and then... <laughs> well, the thing about people I... joining later is we need to make sure they're whitelisted <laughs> on the server and have the ip <laughs> So X was there. We had that like we had that little hangout the other night, yeah. and I swear to God, Jim just built this like yeah, this huge amazing castle statue right. thing. Oh yeah, like in like thirty minutes, and me and Iskall are just sitting there like, did you just build that? And she's like, oh yeah, it was no problem, but the knee looks a little weird, so I'm gonna fix it. And I was like, and me and Iskall are just like totally blown away. Yeah, so. Jim is great. Jim is great. Man. So but, good. Yeah, she, she definitely said she wanted to hang out. As well, did you post something in in uh, general I, I chat or something? Get on top of that. I'll get on top of it right yeah. now. Yeah, so people yeah. know the IP and things. That might be. Yeah, she cool. she literally builds so fast. It it was just yeah, it blew us a, away. So. Put it at everyone there, so the fools the fools yeah. see it as well. <laughs> um okay um yeah one minute to go, and then we'll start with the the big elephant in the room. You know, yeah. the ominous. February the 19th incident. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, if, if you want to wait uh, on that until everyone's here, do you want me to do the Mario uh, oh, yeah. thing now? Because I'm actually yeah, ready. Go, I'm ready to hit tweet yeah. on that, so I'm going right, to get that right. out into the first, world. First, Joe's Mario plug. Okay, so y'all, Mario Kart 8 has eight new courses launching March 18th. It's the first time they've added new courses to Mario Kart in a stupidly long time. So usually it's like herding cats getting to any of the hermits to agree on when to do something. Nightbot just says I'm not allowed to link things, only moderators, uh, even though I'm a VIP. <laughs> I can see so it's in the chat. It, it, it was immediately deleted by Nightbot and I got <laughs> okay. I will re so, it on my Twitter feed, so <laughs> okay. peeps can head okay. there. Yeah, I'll yeah. retweet it later then, Joe, too. Cool, cool, cool. Everyone. All right, so, so my Twitter he, feed. There you go. Yeah, so here, here's the deal: is when the hermits heard that there was new Mario Kart courses dropping, it's like, okay, well, we should play this. And when should we play it? The day it launches. So March 18th, the day these eight new courses launch. Myself and several other hermits. We can announce six of us today. We have a few more maybes, so expect maybe a few more roster expansions. But we've got Pearlescent Moon. We've got me, we've got Impulse SV, we've got Gemini Tay, False Symmetry, and Ren the Dog. We are going to be uh, racing those new courses, having fun. Some of us will be streaming with capture cards. Some of us will just be racing from DS lights or Switch lights or whatever, the ones you can't dock. But either way, we're going to be there. We're going to be on voice. We're going to be racing. It is going to be a fantastic time, and I hope you will uh, join us for that. On March 18th, it's going to be at 7 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. Uh, that's in that weird time period where America has changed our clocks, but England has not changed their clocks yet. So it's going to be 2 p.m. U.S. Central. Uh, so we're in that weird five-hour time gap time. But yeah, it's going to be fantastic. I hope you all can come out for that. You know what, Joe? I'd love Good. to be there, but I don't have a Switch, unfortunately. Same. Same. You know, same. Uh, we clearly have to, like, encourage people to, you know, like, it. subscribe, and donate bits so you can, can afford you, a Switch with Mario can Oh, I can, I can get one, and I've been wait, debating wait. about getting one, but the problem is, like, I wouldn't play it enough. Like, I, the, I was going to buy one literally to take to other people's places and play with. Okay, okay, like, I have a it's question. It's such a fun, like, party-type gaming platform, right? 
Can well, you enter a DVD into a Switch and play it? No, it has no, no DVD player. God damn no. it. Then I have no good reason to, you know, because well, our, our Xbox broke and Karen always watched Sex in the City. She has a DVD collection of that. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, now it broke and the only reason I could buy another console was if I'd say, yeah, you can watch your DVDs on it again. Yeah. Is it not oh, available actually. to stream anywhere? Um... Not well, she already so I, I have a massive DVD collection, which I never use because everything's just on a streaming platform these days, it feels yeah. like. So, uh, X, I actually have a Switch and the same thing happened. I I probably haven't turned it on in six months, mm. so it just kind of sits there. Lure DVD player to the Switch, the, the great suggestions yeah. of chat. Yeah, yeah, just duct tape it on there. I mean, it doesn't even have to be glue. As long as it's adhesive, you're set. But I mean, here's the thing, Asuma, is with the Switch, let's say that you buy Mario Kart just to play in this one big event. Well, you know what? I actually was talking to uh, some of the other hermits who don't have Mario Kart yet about this, and I said, hey, I'm going to be streaming some practice races with the old courses between now and March 18th to build hype and, and get my skills up. If you want to hang out with me during those streams, uh, I was going to do them in the morning my time, so they would be British friendly. Um, you know, you could get a few practice streams in or uh, practice uh, races in there too. So it'd be a fun excuse to just hang out. Yeah. Maybe I should wear my I'll glasses I'm... there. I could definitely see better with them on. I'm notoriously frugal I'm when it comes old, to spending man. money. So, uh, well, I understand that, but this is an investment in friendship. <laughs> you get to pal around with Rendog, False Symmetry, Gemini Tay, Impulse SV, and Pearlescent Moon, and me. It, it's very you know? tempting, but here's the th immediately my mind's like, it's not just buying the Switch. Got to buy the game. Got to buy accessories. Got to buy something to capture it, right? And and yeah, bring it over really. to the stream. Well, you True. don't have you don't have to. Not everybody who's going to be at the race has a capture setup. Right? Oh, okay. Just hang out casually. Yeah, so Rendog doesn't have a capture setup. He's just going to be racing and on voice chat with us, right? Yeah. He's not going out to buy a capture card for this or anything, you know? No. So you can determine your own level of involvement. We just want to hang out, you know? If you want to stream, you're welcome to stream, but we want to hang out. We just want to out. hang out. Uh, All right. It's, it's going on my note list. I'll seriously uh -oh. consider getting a Switch. It's hitting the notes. Let's get you're serious. You're not going to get a PS5, so... <laughs> I don't, I don't even want one. I don't no. play games on my PlayStation anymore because of uh, I don't RSI. play games at all, you know. That's yeah. <laughs> I just uh, game Minecraft, that's it. All well, right. And, and, uh, I was going to say, and assume, you know what, if you buy it and you hate it, then you know what, you just give it to your nieces or nephews or whatever uh, next Christmas. Just they like, love that. hey, here's, here's a barely used Switch and Mario Kart. Have fun. Yeah. It's a great idea. All right, I think it's time to get going. We've waited, making people wait long enough. So who wants to start? <laughs> I, I, I mean, me. You want to go? All right, let's, yeah. let's do it, man. I can back you up. Yeah. All right. So as you know, we have a flat hierarchy on Hermitcraft, right? Hermitcraft is not like we have a boss. <clears throat> people sometimes always think maybe Sizuma has a, a word or more to say than somebody else, but that's not the case. Everything is flat hierarchy. So generally, <clears throat> when we make decisions, we just vote on them. Yeah. There is no rule that we have meetings, right, regularly, and then if there's important things to debate, for example, when do we start our new season? Do we take a break in between seasons? And so on. We always vote on that. And it yeah. doesn't have to be unanimous. It's simple majority. Yeah. Whatever gets the majority and then nobody's annoyed or so, we just roll with it. So, as usual, when the season 8 uh, came to an end, we were thinking, okay, how are we going to do it? Are we going to do a quick restart? Or are we going to take a break? And some members of the group and quite a lot if not all of them said brah it would be nice if you could take a little bit of a longer break for once because you know we've been doing all of us <laughs> we've been doing this for years and years and years and one season went from <laughs> yeah ended and the next pretty much started already you couldn't even blink uh, if you i saw an interesting post on the reddit um, where people were speculating when will season nine start and then they showed a graph how how long the breaks were in between seasons <laughs> right <laughs> and yeah. i think the, the longest was like 10 days or something mm. for years now so this time around we said all right let's uh, take maybe a little bit of a longer break so we, we can recharge especially as the last season was very exhausting for all of us 
because it was a short season and still the hermits tried to deliver maximum output so everybody was grinding like crazy yeah. and getting a lot of big projects done in a short amount of time and uh, i really but this this season made people really did there was the final nail in the coffin that we said okay we're gonna take a little bit of a break so then we meet and we debate when what is a good time to take a break for right we said like do we want to do two weeks do we want to do a month and then after uh, lengthy debates and whatnot we came up with a good solution it was about six weeks or something and that turned out to be um when we, we would start playing again the 15th of this month yeah right? we wanted to start so we were prepared to get going um we were ready we were having a meeting shortly prior and we're saying yeah everybody's kind of ready let's go um and then we started okay now we need to slowly but surely start the hype phase we'll be starting hyping and then um sizuma did the ultimate hype and uh, pretty much posted okay season's gonna start at the 19th which yeah. was yeah which was today the, yeah today and which was at this time the absolute plan we yeah. wanted to start there. We were all on board. Let's get ready to roll. And yeah, I let's think get we. Um, I think we had the nineteenth planned for. It was about two weeks, wasn't it? Yeah. And, so. and I'd like to say, like, my my intent was to put it in the video in a way where people wouldn't actually notice. So when I edit the video on my <laughs> computer, it like blinks for a frame, and then black screen. And I'm like, perfect. If someone catches that, it'll be hilarious. If if not, maybe give them a nudge later on. And what mm -hmm. YouTube does is it stops the very final frame of the video when you reach the end of the video. And so the date is just very clearly there for you to see. And oh. I'm just like, uh oh, <laughs> oh <no. laughs> everyone's oh, yeah. gonna figure this out. Oh, yeah. It was like it one of the first beat, comments man. just had, oh, there's a date at the end. And I'm like, how have you got this already? And yeah. then I watched the video and I figured out why that happened. So yeah. I'm so they, they, they do not miss a beat, no. Yeah. So when we determined how long we're going to take the break, there is all kinds of factors that play in. A ton of factors, right? It's not because one individual or whatever, you know, a lot of people have a lot of things going on. Like from, for example, I said, hey, I would really enjoy if I can spend some carefree time with the little one for a while. And there was all kinds of, you know, different reasons, right? Yeah. And um, then we thought, okay, all is cool. And then we were ready to go and then some more complications came up. All of a sudden we realized, hey, wait a minute, maybe we should have met a week earlier or two um, to figure out what exactly the plan will be for next season. How are we going to do that? And then it turned out there are so many things that were still not really 100% decided. And we always want everybody to be on board before mm -hmm. we talk. You know, we want everybody to be on board. So it got more and more complicated. And it, then time was ticking and we were like, dang, man. <laughs> The, the start date is out there and we're feeling there's still so much we need to go through and figure out uh, maybe we need to push back a little bit and then we were really stressed out about that because well you know we we feel the pressure then too there was a date out there and we want we don't want to let you guys hang <clears throat> right our audience we love you and we don't want to disappoint you so we were like oh my god what are we gonna do panic breaks out meetings uh, blah 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 but in the end it just turned out makes no sense we gotta be upfront with it <clears throat> we're gonna tell people we, we have to push back a little bit longer um, and now we are almost there we have everything figured out we need one more meeting maybe to be yeah. completely planned out and then we can get going so you know sooner than r rather than later uh, it's gonna be rather yeah quicker than you think um yeah we're gonna flies, doesn't it it'll, yeah. and, it'll um, soon be season 10. yeah, yeah we <laughs> gotta get just, going. uh just we, want to point something out with this as well yeah. what doc was saying this is not all on scar so you know no, please no. don't assume that because there was multiple hermits that uh, either had conflicts with the dates or there was an issue with just scheduling and people being busy or going on vacation, for example. So not just Scar. So please don't be like, don't don't blame him because it's not his fault. So no, yeah, no. We're, we're a group. We're a united front. We, we move in yeah. the same direction and like all y'all should just, you know, support us and and don't don't speculate. It's It's not healthy to speculate because you can come up with ideas like fictional ideas that then affect some of us right like 
Yeah. Scar doesn't need to hear anything, you know. He's doing he's doing his thing. He'll get better in his own time and like just just get send him love and support. Don't yep. don't like read into anything. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, <clears throat> but um go ahead, dog, sorry. Yeah. And, uh, well, well, hold on. The One point is, we don't that. wanna if, to to finish uh, my rant real quick. Um, we don't wanna give you a fixed date now, just in case, okay? Because just in case some complications come up again, and we need to push a little bit more, and then we have the same drama again. So don't ask when is it now. Then exactly, uh, we can just tell you it's rather sooner than later, quicker yeah. than you expect. Uh, I hope you guys understand that and are not mad, but yeah. if we learned, you know, if for us, this is also a completely new journey. You have to see, we are still some normal dudes who are kind of juggling this kind of professional entertainment career with trying to be somewhat grounded and normal. Yeah. And for us, uh, we don't have a management. Hermitcraft is no entity. You know, there's nobody behind us that plans stuff and does things. It's all us figuring stuff out as we go. And the community is growing bigger and bigger. More eyes uh, um, are on us um, as, as we roll along over all these years. Um, and yeah, we will make mistakes. Um, but yeah. we will never try to do things in bad intention, you know, trying to get you hyped up and then don't bring an episode out and troll you. That is not the Hermitcraft way. If, if something like that happens, it's literally us making a mistake, you know, and uh, trying to learn. And uh, yeah. we learned one thing, we got to be careful <laughs> with giving out exact <laughs> launch dates of anything. Yeah. Because, so, um, yeah. And, you know, just today to, is, to clarify is, something. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, no, you're fine. Today is just like a pivot to explain all of that to all of you, right? Like this date's yeah. out there. We've got to do something. Let's get together. Let's communicate with our audience now, which is uh, yeah. what we're here for. Yeah, that's kind so, of making up for um, that a little bit, right? We said so, today's the launch, it didn't happen, so we at least thought, hey, we're going to come out and have a nice chat with you all. Right? Yeah. Mm. So we we do have a date. It's an internal date. And obviously for the reasons that Doc just said, we're not going to tell you. It is soon. You can expect us. Uh, season 9 will be a full season. We're not doing another short season, so don't don't try to look too far into that. The whole debacle with season eight was mostly update related. We normally try to plan our seasons around updates. And when Mojang split Caves and Cliffs into two, we panicked. And so we had to make a decision that we thought was yeah, going to be best for panicked. the server. You and, panicked. Yeah, but um, we tried to make a decision that was best for the server. And, you know, as Doc said, we do everything ourselves. We're a very homegrown group and you know we thought we were doing what was good and we learned a lot from short seasons like don't do them <laughs> well, I, I, I think, you well, know we, we've been talking a lot about the kind yeah. of self-governance element of being an artist collective but we haven't talked about the artist side of things part of art is experimenting we said yeah. one of the arguments for doing a new season is we've never done uh, or doing a short new season what for season eight was we've never done a short season before let's see how it pushes us to do new stuff let's see what works and what doesn't and yeah there were some things with the pacing at the end of the season that were difficult the whole world is up in the air right now with a bunch of different factors w one thing i want to say too uh to roll back to the don't blame scar for the delay thing is also don't read too much into anyone's health on the server based on when the launch date ends up being because i've seen some people going like hmm if they're pushing back the launch date does that mean scar is not doing well it's not about scar either way so don't worry okay yeah. don't don't try to read you know, tea leaves out yeah, of the date again in the, end, the <laughs> speculation <laughs> can be difficult for scar right yeah. like put yourself in yeah it's shoes. gonna stress him out that's don't do not it. helpful no and and uh, one other last thing is there are cultural elements when Doc says sooner than you'd expect. Me as an like it might be soon in German time, but as an American, I'm like really to me it's the opposite. It's later than I would expect. It's still relatively soon, but it's not sooner than I would expect. So there's a lot of all the hermits look at all this that's, stuff differently. That's that's all that's all relative how you see. Yeah, that. all relative. In the end, mm, you know, in the end, you have to see we're like 25 peeps that are involved in this thing. Everybody is independent. 
and we have to find always have to find middle grounds you know yeah. between all interests that are there and as you know for pretty much all of us this is also our livelihood so you know we cannot just say hey you know we're gonna chill forever and take a year break uh, right that is impossible um, and will most likely never happen here in hermitcraft but uh, yeah. it might happen that uh, in between seasons we will take time off similar to what we have been doing right now um, that's definitely uh, definitely in the books um, because uh, for me i have to say it was really great to be able to spend some time with my family and now when we had our first meetings again really sounded everybody is hype you know to start a new season everybody mm -hmm. had enough time to recharge some en energy do some things get some things sorted out that often get pushed to the side um yeah when when you're in the grind you know because uh, as i said we yeah. do this alone so it is also a lot of work um, and uh to yeah. touch on some things like when we go into a meeting it's important that everybody gets a voice like like we're a flat unanimous group to where we do votes for everything and we don't always agree on things but you know that's a part of respecting each other and just talking things through and we have our problems just like everybody else. And so when it comes to a date, it's the same thing. You know, we talk about things. Is this date okay for people? If people say no, we kind of go back to the drawing board, talk about what's better. Uh, we work through things just like everybody else. We're not perfect in any manner. So, you know, we, we do work hard. And I see a lot of questions about stress in this call. They're both joining the season this season. So, yes. Yeah. Oh, uh, one thing I might want to clarify is uh, consensus-based or consensus-driven might be more accurate than uh, unanimous. <clears throat> uh, Joe, your voice is... You good, yeah, Joe? sorry, I was trying to... I was about to <laughs> cough as soon as I started talking. Mm -hmm. I, I was trying to say that consensus-driven might be better than unanimous because almost everything we do, there's one or two people that's just like, that's not what i would have chosen but yeah. i understand the importance of working within a group we're adults who collaborate professionally and part of professional collaboration is that you don't always get what you want but you work together to make sure that as many people as possible get what they need and uh that includes the fans we talk a lot about what we think you need and how we can get it to you in a way that works for us and for you and i think that's really important that um you know we're trying to create art for ourselves but also for our audience and we appreciate y'all coming out today to talk about what's important to you so we can listen so uh we are reading the chat and we do appreciate y'all i feel like that's a great setup for uh like moving into taking people's suggestions and feedback unless someone else has got anything to say no i think that's it for the date stuff Cool. Could we take? Could I take like five minutes? There's so many noises in my ear. I just want to read them yeah. and thank them. So yeah, yeah. Let's 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 take a quick break. Everybody address their own chats real quick, and then sounds good. Let's uh, reconvene yeah. in five, so forty. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Alrighty then, it's me and all of you. And again, let's go check it out. What are the number? Thirteen thousand. I think y'all have broken my stream record. I think it was 10,000 for season 7. And season 9 hasn't even started yet. Uh, Cloud Fuel, hey dude. Nice to see you in chat. Uh, for anyone who hasn't hit the follow button over here, be sure to hit it because season 9 is going to be soon, as you've heard. And I will be doing a fair bit of streaming. Obviously, I can't give you dates and times and stuff. If all goes to plan, the first week I think I'm going to take a break from working out. So that will mean that I will have lots of time to do actually it would have to be the second week if i were to put it into streaming because uh okay right now i'm saying too much <laughs> i will i will make it my mission to do some streams like lots in the first week because seeing all of you here makes me realize that people love this and uh yeah it's amazing to still have you all with us now i don't quite remember where we left off because we've had just an insane amount of subs here. I mean, I, I want to read off all these names. It's going to take me a moment. And I think I've just caught up to where we are. So Pip the Pixel, thank you for subscribing. And then we've got a whole bunch of gifted subs. So if you hear your name being read out loud, be sure to say thanks to whoever gifted it to you. Mary Gershwin, MD Cross, Prometheus, uh, FizzQ, Rock C. We've got Jang the Conqueror, Joey Spetch, Mighty Doors, 
Shrim Jahar, Raman1234, uh, Laleen, Zinoba, The Mr. E, Debasa94, Braskiao, Lumpy Octopus, Turamath, Rakeen, Luik. Oh god, I've got to press that button. I am butchering some names right here. Uh, US Dragon, thank you. Uh, well, be sure to say thanks in the chat. Thanks for tuning in. You've been gifted a sub. So has NX Super, Bunny Chow, Moonerva, Frosty Fly, Arena, Lognova. And out of the corner of my eye, I can see chats going wild as well. Zisco, Eggy Burt, I Like Corn Dogs, Tie Dye, Peacock, Jasmine, Supernova, Relic, and Radio Suicide. A massive thank you to Gazzle Harry, uh, Arene Loganova. Where are the next ones? Axnim and Markanu and Apricot Bubbles and Keen BTF for so many gifted subs there. We always appreciate the support for the community, so thank you for uh, gifting those peeps some subscriptions. Now, Ranog has subscribed, so is Jeff Jeff XO. We got the Deadly Ray, Navaskia for two months, Spangleboo for 48, Ten and Brom, Ninja Jeff. FX Oons, Heavily, Childish Hambino, Pat Rub here with the Prime, Cheesy Fries, Lure Wolf for seven months, Anaxium is subscribing, so is Mew Chime. We've got Cheers and Biddies from General Sweatpants, and we've got Todd M here for 28 months, Sensational Parameter for four, Jager Mage with the Prime, Sins of Dragons for two months, John 2 TV, Chili Willy 9127 for five, Chapter Cory for 19, Tommy YCW, Icon 106, 7, Kaelarion 99, CJ Gibbons for two years, Stupid Mario 696, M983A4, thank you so much, Olav Vloss, Cameo Kitty, <laughs> Red Reginald, Justin OS, goodness me, we are slowly getting there, my friends. Thank you for your tremendous support. Savian 2501, Night Student, Big Merc 77, for 61 months. I believe that is an evil X, is it not? Orion Guy 21. It's Crazy Elite. Thank you for two months. Bell and a T for 41. Summer Spear with the Prime. Axe Kicker for 11. Ed George. Blast Bolt. Ben OB. Hello Clink. All with the Prime. Trooper 2531 for two months. Anephistist with the subscription caged bird for three months. Goodness me. Lays 24 MC. Heartless Dave, thank you for the cheers and biddies. Birdie J373 for 38 months. ADHD Grease here with the Prime. Uh, SJ Heady Diddy has subscribed. At Meadows End. Wormboy Trav. Meow Knight for 45 months. Vanis P. Dread Panda for. I, every time I get to the top of the list, it keeps expanding. I can't keep up. We have a sub bomb from Li Lin Ledin. Gifting subs to Kuro Assassin, Safika, Dan NL, Nerdy N8, Arfri Blah, Yardi, Chopsy, Arwen's Muslings, Jal Jaladon Fox, and Night Tracks. If you heard your name being read out loud there, be sure to say thanks in the chat for the gifted sub. Uh, YC Joey with the Prime. Amethyst Crystal Gem with the Prime. I can't keep up! Trans Girl Roxy, Zarlet, Jufus94, Resol, Maldorium Eh. With the Prime FX Zooms with cheers and bits. Uh, with a question there, I don't know if I should answer or not. Um, maybe maybe uh, that will come up again later on. Coconut Oils, Gibber64, Scoutcraft UK, Lextum, DJ Chris Coin, Just Marco Online, Tadley Mushy, Chem Westy, Ziggurada, Big Food 81, Sirst Esteban. I've literally just got to the top of the list and I'm sure. Some more will come through. I gotta say, one thing that's nice about being a smaller streamer, I'm experiencing what it's like to be a bigger streamer right now. I've always loved reading out the names and thanking people. If you're sitting there with like, you know, this many or more viewers, it's hard to keep up. Like, I, I like that, uh, that we're able to do that over here on Twitch, you know? Oh, it looks like, it looks like quite a few other peeps are gonna be turned. This is exciting. We were supposed to reconvene a minute ago, I think. Let's have a look what's happening in... Well, I'm, I'm interested. Now, we might have some more hermits popping on. Wow! It's going to be an exciting stream today, isn't it? 
All right, and uh, Ziggurat, thank you for the gifted sub bomb. To Arlene's Befuddled, RS57, Nalusku, and Rajakon, be sure to say thanks in the chat. And also thank you to Keladri Ann and I, Dr. Doze Twitch for four months. We are going to get back to the group. It looks like m quite a few peeps might be tuning in. There is a lot of hype in chat right now. Right, I'm going to get back to it. This is Hello. the new member. And so we're just talking about how we add new members. Um, that question so, came up and I didn't know what to say. <laughs> yeah, I was, I'm kind of answering it right now. Um, so after we do that vote, we just need to ask them. And, you know, so for example, with uh, Jim and Pearl, Korean asked Pearl and X asked Jim, and they agreed, obviously, because they're on the server. But, you know, it takes a few weeks to kind of vet things. And but, you know, it, it, it really takes a lot of time. Just, you know, we want to make sure that the people that we're adding are the right people for the server. So mm -hmm. but, especially uh, because once they join, we're not inviting them to be temporary members or anything no. like that. The day Gem and Pearl showed up, they are full members of the Hermitcraft server. There's no probation period, nothing temporary. They are in. And they have the same rights and privileges as every other person on the server. And that's because we respect them or we wouldn't have invited them. Yeah. And we're not going to make them jump through <clears throat> hoops. We're not going to haze them. It, they have already proven themselves to be talented, creative, professional Wait, people. No, 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 gonna... Joe, you just, you just made me realize they, something they, like... They... Like, you, in life, you naturally attract similar types of people to yourself, right? They, they, you know, I had to never, ever considered hazing. And they, it they, just they made should... me so thankful for Leah, because like, yeah. there are social groups like that where a part of, like, bringing you in is playing a horrible prank on you. And, and to yeah, me, it's like an immediate... I am I not mean, wasting my time. You know, with that's, this. that's <laughs> like in basketball teams where the rookies have to carry the bags and stuff. You know, all these new people that joined, we let them get away way too easy. I think yeah. um, next season, <laughs> Berlin Jam have to be my grinders. Oh, you know? that's unfortunate. <laughs> I mean, there is the new Hermit fee that they have to pay, but. No, there's no <laughs> new Hermit fee. No, I, I will that's say a, that's, though, a, that's a long standing Hermitcraft joke right there. Oh. Leo oh. and I have been trying to get you to ask us to do stuff on. Mondays for Hermits Helping Hermits. Just let us know. We will go out and grind stuff on stream and we will laugh and we will pal around. And, uh, you know, you just got to tell us what you want and what you need and we'll get it. Everything. So. I don't know where you're um, going to put it all, but we'll get on that. <laughs> uh, I think we can go ahead and start answering some questions about season nine now. So. Before we get into this, though, you guys got to know we're picking and choosing answers. We're going to be very selective about how we answer things, because obviously we don't want to spoil too much. So don't be disappointed if your answer, your question doesn't get answered. OK, um, you know, yeah, I, don't, I don't know how much there is that we can say, because a lot of it we want to keep a surprise for now. Right. Like yeah, maybe we'll it's see. more about like hearing their suggestions or what they yeah. want. And we can take some things into consideration. Yeah. I think there's two main things Somebody we can talk about, asking, which I will put in the chat right there, but uh, in our private chat. Um, Wait, there's one interesting question there. Somebody asked, uh, oh, by the way, thank you, Mysterious. Uh, yeah, thank you. Um, somebody asked if anybody ever denied joining Hermitcraft to be invited. Not to my knowledge. I don't I think so either. Yeah, I'm trying to think, like, maybe back in Season 2, we might have, like... But I I mean, I will say, I almost said no. I was really close to saying no, because when Hermitcraft... <laughs> no, seriously, when I was invited to join Hermitcraft, it was five weeks old. I had never heard of it. A lot of people are like, Joe, you're one of the smallest channels or whatever. Well, back then, all of the channels were a lot smaller, and mine was pretty big compared to some of the other ones and so i was looking at this and i was like i've never done a multiplayer smp before i do solo challenge maps that's my <laughs> channel is me doing dumb videos and solo challenge maps and generic b said well you can do dumb videos on this vanilla smp server and <laughs> i i was like mm, this seems kind of like a scam i'm not going to sign a contract that gives him any rights to my content or anything i'm doing he's not gonna get you know and I, I was looking for like what was his angle i was trying to figure mm -hmm. out how he was trying to take advantage of me 
because he just yeah. showed up out of nowhere and asked me to join this thing I'd never heard of. <laughs> so I That's almost so said no. Yeah, but it, let's right. say this, like, you know, we wouldn't... The, the vetting also includes that we have a pretty good idea that this person would most likely be interesting uh, to join the server, right? We we would not approach somebody r random who we where we would also say, yeah, think they would not know what Hermitcraft is or what it means to join here and so on. So it's, um. you know, it, it, it's very unlikely, for example, that we would approach Dream <laughs> or so, yeah, and ask yeah. him to join Hermitcraft or PewDiePie or something, you know, <laughs> uh, or, you know, they probably have no idea what Hermitcraft is. I mean, and, uh, if, if we yeah. wanted to invite, like, Jeff Goldblum, I think yeah. Jeff Goldblum might say no. He'd be a great fit. He's very musical, very funny guy. But, you know, I just don't know if in his schedule he could do the work, you know? Yeah. So um, some specific question when I also saw that. I just, really good. I just got one I would like to answer. Yeah. Uh, so Daff asks, will there be a shopping district season? Hey, I missed yeah. the last one. The one. Yes, I can confirm yeah. there is going to be a central shopping district this season. Thank mm. God. <laughs> well, the idea last season, last season, as you know, we tried something else, right? We tried um, to have this decentralized uh, shopping districts, right? We had we had groups that played together. So we had an Iron Ren were kind of a, a group and we had Octagon. Then we had Botan people um, in their area, then Jeff. Um, and um, the girls in the middle had a had a shopping area, and Zizuma um, he teamed up with Jeff later down the road in Beef. You know, so you saw, and then we had the the guys around Beat Ups, Big Eye Crew, right? So the idea was we have all kinds of competing shopping districts, which would give uh, a nice hookup to maybe tell some cool storylines, write some shops, really competing hard and stuff like that. So we do this and we all thought this is a glorious idea. It's brilliant, right? And what happened is it didn't work at all. <laughs> And I just why? want to put it out there that yeah. I was against this from the beginning. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, in so, theory, listen, like the idea yeah. was really good, but yeah. it was hard to pull so, off. So why why did it work? First of all, once um, it took a, w a long while to establish really big uh, shopping districts, right? And then the season was about to end soon already. That was the first problem. Second problem was well, all shops pretty much sold everything. Yeah. So nobody had an incentive. To go to anybody else's shop and buy there because every you know if you have a farm that produces stuff to sell in your own shop you don't have to buy it somewhere else so <laughs> pretty much the whole economy uh, was about to collapse or almost collapsed because nobody had a reason to buy anything from anybody yeah so to shop at their friends friend shops yeah so it turns out okay yeah maybe it was not the most brilliant idea to have uh, the economy set up like that so we clearly said okay you know for season nine we want to have one big shopping district again everything's in one place then you can also check easily you know what is available even you know the hell do i know what what uh, the guys in four horse ranch or uh, the horse ranch over there were selling i horse never heads, checked, yeah you know <laughs> uh, so yeah. if it's all in in one place um, that it's easy for everyone to figure out, hey, look, this is sold already, this, this, this. Where is a, a gap where I, what I can sell, you know, is there a demand for something I can bring in? And then there will be an automatic uh, market economy in some sense. But with <laughs> us splitting up like that, in, in theory, I guess that would have worked great. But uh, yeah, practically... What's interesting about it yeah. is that like what we had traditionally done was a natural emergence. It started in season two. It was like, you know, when we go over to this new area, why don't we just like create some shops so we can trade stuff? And it was like, yeah. And then everyone went and made shops. And then season three, we didn't actually do it, but it came back for season four. We were like, do you remember season two? That was great. Let's make some shops. And it was just natural because it was, we just sort of went, let's put all the shops in this area because that's what you do. You put shops next to one another. So it was a well, very like natural emergence. Too. And then once we introduced like additional rules like we did in season five, where it was like, you can't sell items, but you have to sell services. It's not natural. And so you go into the Minecraft world, you play like you do, and then you, you, you do what's natural, right? And so th th in, that's why I think it failed because enforcing the rules takes the naturalness out of it, you know? Yeah. Agreed. I got a question. Uh, do you have to be popular to be a Hermitcraft member? 
And the answer is absolutely no. When we add people onto the server, we're looking at your content more than anything. How you conduct yourself in public is another one. But more, more than anything, we're looking at content and to see how well you blend with the members of the server. Ooh. You Sub count means nothing to us. Can, oh, I, uh, can I bring up something? Just uh, this is yeah, like, kind of important. This <laughs> makes me back. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it's um, it's related to you know whenever we bring up members and people joining, right? Loads of people just start naming naming YouTubers in chat, and uh, I'm trying oh, no, to find these this. tweets. I want to read them it's out. It's from Flip. Yeah, from yeah. Flip. Really potent words, and I can't find it on my timeline for some reason. I don't know why it's not there anymore. Ah, here it is. Yeah, so so Fwip says, uh, can we normalize not asking content creators why they aren't in certain SMPs, or that telling them that they deserve a spot and should try to join? It can come across as saying, we're not good enough alone, we haven't made it into one. This can really Ooh. affect one's mental health. Starting out, my goal was to join a big SMP server. I thought it was the only way to make it. Years later, I realized I want to be on my own creator instead of uh, only being known for being part of a group. And since then, my mental health has been so much better. And and this was like, a, like I kind of know this, but hearing it from someone outside of a group, their perspective really kind of like nails it on the head. Because for us, we're kind of like, immune from that because we're already in a group we don't experience that sort of pressure we see it we constantly what? No, see i get that names. all the time you do every time every time green launches a new series everybody's like joe why aren't you in green's new thing and oh I'm that's like, true i don't know i have no I idea why i'm not green's new thing bother green actually don't bother <laughs> green like, <laughs> like why would i know why i'm in something or not like that's You're absolutely right i i guess with me I i'm just... the wrong person to ask I just tend to focus on Hermitcraft and ignore everything else that's going on, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, true. like, this yeah, you've, got put, you've absolutely got a point. Side series all the time, and, and I never know, like, what... I, I don't even yeah. know what the thing is, so I'm I don't know to do You're safe, guys. <laughs> hey, Jim. What's up, Jim? I'm false. Hey, Jim. Hey, false. Hey, false. Hey, false. Hey, false. These are amazing trees, by the way. <sighs> oh, thank you. I just built all of this. <laughs> they look great. Thank you. Yes. We have nothing to do with this with this brick build gem. It was X. Oh yeah, that's that's all X. This is all. Yeah, new. I feel leave, like leave I feel alone. like it's a good no. first attempt, but like I, you learn from it because the scale just yeah. isn't quite right. But it's it's got some things that are nice. Yeah, but force is low. I think force is on her phone or something. Uh, can <laughs> also, you hear like, me? Oh, no. and there oh, we go. Good. We can hear you. Pretty good. Like okay, the cool. materials <laughs> change. Like you know, there's like wall blocks, and you won't yeah. keep the slabs. It's it's just sort of like looking at the shape of it. Yeah. But, you know, building is a process. Um, like, you start with this thing and it informs you, like, what to do differently on the next go. Yeah. Somebody Take asked if we will be playing on an island again. I'm uh, the only one. Questions about the seat are tricky. Yeah. Let's yeah. say this. Let's, I'll shut up. We, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, have, we have picked a seat. We know a seat. That's, uh, that's it. We cannot yeah. say more about that. No. Seed is off is off the questions list, because for some reason you know I like another little bit of insight here for you guys like behind the scenes right. I'm one of the people who cannot can, like doesn't give a crap <laughs> about what seed we choose right. I'm literally when we talk about a seed uh, hunting or whatever I'm checking out, but other people for them it's really important. That is one of the hot topics <laughs> in the group always. How do we do with the seed? What do we do with the seed and stuff? Yeah. And, uh, also, it seems it's also for you guys. A lot of people like to have the seed and play along a bit and so on. Um, so I don't know. I, w I wonder. Okay, let's ask this in, in chat. I, like, is this knowing the seed important to you? Just do a simple yes or no. So and then we can gauge a little bit. I think uh, everybody's going to say yes, uh, honestly. Uh, I am look, look, seeing look. a lot more no than yes, but I will yes, turn it really? into a poll. Oh my god, like my computer's freaking out. There's so many messages in chat. <laughs> oh yeah, Switch you know what? I, I was really wrong there because my chat is literally all no's. Uh, wow. Yeah, I'm going to make a poll for that so we can get it. Yeah, I was numbers. right. I'm always right. <laughs> um, did you guys oh, check uh, the, yeah. the private group there? Can I talk about the second thing? Oh wait, let me see. 
guess and no. Yeah, it's I guess it's a bit bigger. Wait, okay. what private group? The, just the one that has all of us in it for today. Oh, just I that little one. The poll going on my chat if anyone yeah. wants to vote. Like so to, to give you guys a, a little smidge more info on season nine, um, there is going to be sort of a starter town. Um, all, most of the hermits, I can't speak for everybody, but from the ones that I've heard from, we will all start off sort of a similar fashion to older seasons where we mm -hmm. were all pretty close knit very, very early on and then eventually kind of spread out to bases, but hopefully not That's too all. far away. Basically, it's, but, been, it's yeah. been like literally we haven't done it since season three. Yeah. Like, yeah, I really um, miss it. That That's one of my we always want to get, get back yeah. to it. So, and um, one question I saw as well: people were saying, "Are there going to be like these groups again?" Right? This was clearly visible last year, as I mentioned before. We had we had individual groups and and divided uh, the group up a little bit. As of now, there is no pl no real plans for that. Um, we will just see how things develop. And yeah, that's more of an organic thing for this season. Yeah. If they happen to, you know, show up and be there, then cool, you know. But, but honestly, you know, we don't have so many plans anyways. Uh, in the end, um, we, we made up our mind that we definitely want to have a centralized shopping district uh, again. And that's it. You know, we will see what happens from that. And um, that's the basic plan. But um, it uh, here's, here's some numbers for you as well. Yeah. Um, 87 percent of people don't need to know the hermit craft seed mm. now that is way i i would have thought it'd been you know closer to somewhere in the middle that is pretty one-sided yeah. people do like yeah i thought long, so too like it's a smaller portion of the audience than i would have guessed yeah oh yeah there is a uh, question so will we use the data pack that lets you add your own textures or oh, maybe we can talk about that thing as well that's a good yeah. one that was also a topic amongst us that was controversially debated right what is uh, one thing that is always a key guideline when we debate things to try right we think hermitcraft is supposed to be a vanilla minecraft experience we never want to have it feel like it's some modded stuff going on and so on it's really important that we say we consider ourselves a vanilla server of course we have a lot of stuff running right plugins and, and things and whatnot but Mainly, we want to be a vanilla server. So with the added textures, we also had a really great learning experience with that last season. One thing we've learned that it a lot of viewers love it and enjoy little gimmicky stuff. You know, who can f not think about the trees, right? Uh, being a tree that was hilarious and stuff like that. But for example, there was also the... One example we debated about was the um, head for what is it called? The, the Yes Wings Club, right? Or some other textures that were way too detailed and yeah. they looked a bit too uh, you know the resolution was too high and to me when i looked at it at it, it it felt to me that's maybe looks a bit modded yeah so we definitely came up with with a middle ground there and said if we add custom textures first of all don't do it like you know too much don't f texture everything rather think in a creative way around what we have in vanilla right it's all in the imagination and secondly we need to make sure stuff doesn't look out of place right it, it's gotta have the right 16-bit uh, look and feel so it fits in nicely with minecraft otherwise you know i didn't use it at all i think this season some people used it a lot like x did a lot of it with it and b yeah my my and, my approach was this is experimental yeah. let's see what we can do with it i had I, I made yeah. lots of Definitely. like alternate textures for items obviously there was derp coin i don't think i did too yeah. much 3d stuff but one thing i did that mm. no one else explored was uh using the emote system so that mm. all the graphics of the game can be put into your text chat or onto like uh, a name tag or an item frame and that i thought was really quite cool but yeah. like it was all in the name of the experimental season and just trying these things out while we had this short season with different technology going on and then like later on we can reassess and go all right did we like this did we not like it you know, do we want it to be a part of hermit it, craft it, you know it also really depends right for example what scar did with the heads you could could consider this really moddy 
But I loved the head thing he did. They looked great, uh, honestly. That that yeah. just to me, you know, I don't, you know, felt totally right. So you never know. That's that's what makes it so interesting, you know, and and so challenging as well. This whole experience we go through as hermits, you know, you have to see we pretty much real time test new concepts right what hollywood productions and netflix do or whatever they do uh, big surveys beforehand they have experience they have analysts and say hey this is a trend we follow this hermitcraft we literally wing everything oh, and yeah. and that is uh, super cool uh, but yeah some things then are on the money some amazing things happen off the cuff not planned just you know evolve and then some things maybe don't work so great but uh, so far I feel we, we from you the audience we always get pretty honest feedback and we are in a lucky spot that we have a chill community here right that nobody shouts at us like crazy tries to give uh, feedback we can actually work with speak for uh, yourself no I'm kidding <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm seeing um, feedback agreeing with Scar's hats people really no, like Scar's that. hats were awesome yeah. One thing I do want to say is, yeah, we do su do use some mods on the server, but you guys got to remember that we are video makers, and some yeah. of the mods that we use are absolutely necessary to make the best videos possible. Yeah, so Mo yeah, most well, of the mods performance, use... right? Like it's, that it's too. About... Yeah, we don't want to have laggy videos. The, so. the vanilla game is not well optimized for a lot of people yeah. playing together. So, for example, one mod that we had last season that we won't have next season is a dynamic render distance now they made some changes in the game that mean we can't do this but uh, the the mod would track the performance of the server and when the performance is really good it turns up the render distance so if you've got less people on they can have like a bigger render distance of the world and then as more people log in it turns it down to save performance unfortunately we don't have that one again but that's like an example of how we use mods to ensure like that the you know the world isn't laggy for everyone yeah several times i've seen the question now will you still have proximity chat of course yes yes uh, proximity chat uh, became that's, a staple yeah uh, that's just uh yeah that, that'll it be has, on the server until we can't have it on the server anymore <laughs> yeah, it has uh, countless advantages yeah. from making this way easier for us to have funny interactions right like before we always you do your thing on the server sometimes it felt really lonely the way you communicate is in chat and then it's always the thing you have to tap out join discord blah 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 and with proc prox chat uh, all these problems we had are gone also it has a really good audio quality for recording um, really good yeah better than oh, this much part. better much we're better in, we're in discord um, right now and whenever yeah. we record in discord like you can hear you it. can hear everyone <laughs> but then yeah. when you check your recording later the volumes are all over the place and it doesn't make any sense because you're literally recording what you hear but something about how discord works once you put it yeah. to like the hard drive it just it gets messed up um the mod yeah. fixes that yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, proximity chat is a staple. Pro uh, proximity chat will always be there. It's, it's really good. 100%. It's That's so a helpful. great mod. Yeah. So. Other mods we, we've got running um, different uh, hermits, different uh, uses. For example, as I do a lot of uh, crazy technical st stuff, I'll use Light Medica and so on. You know, I'm not going to build yeah. a quarry uh, without using Light Medica. It's way too tricky. Yeah. Not. The, the main reason is not that you couldn't do it um, without Light Medica. The reason is content production, right? You want to streamline your stuff a little bit. Um, Light Medica and, literally changed everything yeah. for my season, like last huge, season. It's yeah. so, so helpful. Yeah, it's kind it's of like a, an uh, extension of building in a creative world and then copying yeah. it to survival. You like but, realize that saves you so much time, and then it's just another thing that helps yeah. you do that. Keep in mind though, not all hermits are using Light Medica and no. so on. And for some, it's also really important. Uh, they are proud that they don't use it, right? But that's another thing, as we say, with the flat hierarchy and thing on Hermitcraft, right? Like we don't, anybody can do it as they enjoy. And yeah. hermits take pride in different, different things. Like for example, for me, I can only speak for myself with the Light Medica use. Like when I, I, my most joyful moments in Hermit uh, in Minecraft are when I hang out with my crazy hive mind people and we figure out cool stuff and then yeah. we fiddle around with it, we build it and do it and test it and blah, blah, blah. And then for me, 
the experimental stuff is done, then I just want to present it. And in my mm -hmm. brain, it's what is the fastest way to show this cool thing to my audience. And then Light Medica comes in play. Because then I don't have to rethink again. I, we invented this thing already. Now yeah. I just want to present it and build it. You know? For, for so, me... With limitations, though. Let me yeah. quickly... Yeah. Sorry, so, going, going. Uh, Light Medica has a lot of powerful functions. For example, you could let things literally be uh, built automatically and whatnot. There is a code of honor. You know, that's not a thing. Like you will not use any flipped automatic block flipping, automatic block selecting or any stuff. You would use it only as a blueprint. Um, that's a rule I set up for myself. And you yeah. know, but don't know if all hermits do it like that or I think, whatever. I think we agree. I don't that even we'd think you. I don't, I don't think, think you anyone can. wanted to use it. Yeah, yeah, I don't think you can even use the block flipping and stuff in without creative mode. You gotta be up or whatever, or creative. Yeah. I don't know. Anyways, but you know, you use it as a time saver, but you still are proud of your craft. And that's kind of how I approach Light Medica. For, for yeah. me personally, Light Medica um, is a way for me to show off my creative building. If I'm just trying to build something on the server, it's gonna come out pretty poorly. But if I have time to plan and spend time in a, in a world building it by hand, by myself, I normally can come up with some pretty good stuff. And a good example of that is the Evil Team Headquarters. That was built from scratch by me. And I think that was probably my best building in Season 8. Mm. I loved that thing. Yeah, that was um, awesome, that build. Yeah, so, you know, what Doc said, I've already built it. I just got to present it on the server. And so Lightmatica allows me to do that. So, yeah. But um, then there is, uh, yeah, good. We have the, the basic stuff like, you know, Optifine, like programs that help with performance and stuff like that. I uh, use all kinds of crazy stuff. Last season, I had um, a mod package done for me specifically by the Hive Mind, which is called the Hermatrix Utilities. Um, which have all kinds of crazy stuff. <laughs> Don't forget uh, about the moon mod either, man. That thing uh, was incredible. And then, of course, last season we went a little bit further with, um, let's say, what what we allow modding-wise on the server. Um, in a way, we we did the moon mod that was also developed by the Hive Mind, um, which pretty much, you know, it was a really complicated mod. It was took a while to develop. Um, what it did is, uh, you know, making the blocks float up uh, and all the hermits would see the same thing. That is the complicated mm. thing about it. It was not just random blocks floating up. It was synchronized to all hermits, packets being sending back and crazy. Yeah. You know. Crazy tech, but... Uh, uh, but, you know, that is the furthest we ever went with modding something. Normally, the approach is always, is it somehow doable in vanilla Minecraft? then let's figure it out. If there's the slightest chance to do it, and if it's not possible, well, then you might have to bury one idea or the other. For example, create mod. I see this question like eight times now already. Will for sure not be here on the Hermitcraft server. No, no. <laughs> that's that's full-fledged creative mode right there. Yeah. Not, but full-fledged modded, we would never do that unless we actually had a modded server. Yeah. But yeah, the moon thing that you guys saw in Season 8 was 100% a mod. It controlled yeah. everything from the vibrations that you saw, the sounds, the mm. blocks floating. Um, at, I think at some point it actually yeah. even took over the sizing of the moon, if I'm, that's correct. Yeah, it can do anything. Um, everything. Yeah. It could make so. people float up and down. It could give the tremors. It could make the blocks float up. The size mm. of the moon changes. Everything is you can fine-tune everything to the max Pro process made that mod he's insane um, when it comes to making things <laughs> that are coded absolutely crazy the guy yeah genius. did a great job it's one of the most important people uh, behind the scenes in the hive mind for my my stuff and you know we always do this sometimes we, everybody has certain resources in the group right i know a lot of peeps in the tech community and modding and crazy coding and and stuff like that and uh, other people have other connections and then if there's a good chance to contribute to making cool content on the hermitcraft you know we we draw from those resources right so yeah. agreed
I, 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 I hit a bit of a wall with this project over here. I come back and uh, I think Fools and Gem are just like taking it to the next level. It's awesome. Oh, yeah. We it's... We're killing it over here. Yeah, it's really great. <laughs> yeah, sorry. We, we, we started doodling on your design, basically. Oh, it's nice. That's, That's good. fine. That's good. That's good. Uh, I've seen a bunch of questions in chat about Iskall and Stress, and I can confirm that both of them will be back full time. Yeah, so. they've been very active in the meetings. Yeah, they, they've <laughs> been to pretty much all of the meetings, uh, uh, participating, voting, uh, everything. You can, so. you, can, you can tell they're they're ready to go. <laughs> oh, yeah, 100%. It's good to have the, the energy back from them. Yeah, so. yeah I feel I feel like yeah. the break has just given, like, it's given me energy to go again, but I see it in others. Like, mm -hmm. it was a good idea to take a break, and I think it should and probably will end up being like a feature yeah. between seasons now there's going to be a little bit of time so that we can kind of like regather and I don't get going again. stop asking oh, about individual point. people though guys like there's no uh, everybody that plays last season uh, will also play this season right there's yeah, no agreed. We, we don't have to confirm every individual player now <laughs> like iskal and stress uh, we could because they took a little bit of a longer hiatus so that's uh, yeah a good reason to address them but like is beat ups playing yeah <laughs> of course right? you know so, are you uh, playing doc no no nope. you're out okay. <laughs> i don't think yeah. i'm gonna play either uh, nah, I'm good. <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, um, then oh, there's uh, one question. Where was it? Will you make the moon mod public? Yeah, I'll talk. I wanted to make a little video about it uh, with process um, together, and then show the moon mod off. Mm. And, uh, also offer it for download. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Somebody asked with uh, if Scar isn't well enough to start, then will you join? Will he join later on? So the the plan around our voting is to sort of pick a middle date to where people can come and go. There may not be specific hermits at the start, but they will obviously join. You know, it's all de really dependent on their schedule. So yeah, you know, it's hard to tell. We, we, we yeah, don't I mean, it. people are at busy. Some point, you know what I mean? Like at some point, at some point, we just gotta make a call. Right and say, okay, this is where we're gonna start, and we look for the optimum solution. Will yeah. there be an optimum solution? Most likely not. You never know. But one thing's for sure, um, it's never dependent on individual hermits or whatever. It is always uh, we have to consider too many opinions. And if we would consider, like you know, there is a birthday or a vacation or something going on all the time. It's with 25 people. So then we probably <laughs> never find a date where we can yeah. start. Right? That would never work. So, uh, at some point, we, we said, okay, this date is set in stone. If the world doesn't end, the season starts there. Yeah. Right? And we came up with this date, not, you know, as I said, everybody voted on several dates and blah, 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 long debates, as, as we always do. Um, as I said, flat hierarchy, everybody uh, voices their opinion. And and um, yeah, sometimes if you, if you're okay with it, you don't voice your opinion. It also sometimes happens there's the awkward silence, <laughs> and that means okay, nobody objects. Then we move on, right? That's how we do it. Yeah. One thing I want to point out is I've I've seen this in chat twice. Uh, Hermitcraft does not have any type of seniority. Um, you know, I've been in the group for about seven years now, and. My voice is the same weight as, say, Jim's voice. Just, you know, it's got to be totally fair because if somebody that's a part of the group that's been a group for a long time disagrees with anything, it can mess everything up, right? So when we go into the meetings and stuff, everybody's exactly the same. So there's no right or wrong. Yeah, and also, yeah, and, like, and I want to say that, people that join. Oh, sorry, Joe, go ahead. Well, yeah, as, as one of the people that's been here, like I said, since five weeks into season one, that is the only way to run a group like this for 10 years. Mm -hmm. You have to give people who you bring in of a full voice. Otherwise, you are going to stagnate just as much as if you didn't invite them. We brought Pearl and Gem in and Grian and everybody else who we've invited in the last few years because we wanted them to contribute to the group. That's yeah. the point of being in an SMP is to have everybody bringing something and contributing and having it valued and listened to <laughs> and acted on, you know? So I like, if you guys are trying to run your own groups and you're not sure how to deal with new members or whatever, bring in people you trust and then act like you trust them. If you're not going to act like you trust them, don't bring them in, pick somebody yeah. else. 
uh, an extension on that point, Joe, is like one of the things that I learned through doing YouTube and having to work with other people. I mean, outside of Hermitcraft and in my own community as well, is that trust is about you giving people trust. Like, you, people don't earn trust or become trustworthy. You have to give them trust in order for them to be trustworthy, you know, right? You know, exactly. X, you yeah. know, X, what you haven't learned in 10 years of Minecrafting. Watching the Minecraft no. chat. You never, you never make a odd, odd building. It's a even, even number building. Why is it even? It's a oh four wide X. door. I'm Who trying to put a middle this? on a clock, and I'm like, wait, I can't. Oh, I didn't even think <laughs> mention that to you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, it, it is. You know, but you can do you it know, that way. You can, you can do odd and even. I, 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 one of the things I want to do next season. Twice. Yeah. One of the things <laughs> I want to do next season with some of my builds is abandon like all forms of symmetry and counting and go hey. for like really <laughs> I, I thought you might symmetry, say something <laughs> but i like odd numbers odd numbers are much more yeah, satisfying odd, odd numbers for sure i, I was going to try and build without scale, without but... any numbering at all like like nothing's allowed to be i'm going to say it again symmetrical <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> I am uh, I am genuinely curious though, X. When you uh, are on the server, do you have your chat turned off? Uh, no, but or is it like really, really low? When I'm into what I'm doing, I tend to just uh -huh. like not really pay much attention. Ah, uh, okay, that makes okay. more sense then. Okay, X. Now take your cheaty X and chop off and move it, move it over by one. So it's. Is that what we want? Which do we want to move it in or out? Like, Dude, do we man. make the middle wider or smaller? The first, you know, the first war is already starting before the season started. On you know, versus on even. Versus even. <laughs> I'll fight in that war. Oh, I'm, I'm totally down for the, I'll lead. the, the I'll, I'll odd lead a side. Yeah. I, I've got the odd numbers. Yeah. See, this is how this is, <laughs> you this is even how story scum. Lines, this is how storylines develop. Yeah, that's maybe also a, a, something interesting. Um, we can address to a certain degree. We don't want to pull back the, the curtain too far. But, you know, there's always this d debate, um, is stuff scripted, how far is stuff scripted? And then on Reddit, there's often the things, I like the storylines better that feel natural. Yeah. Funnily enough, f us knowing how much planning goes in some of the stories, um, most of the stories that we ha spend a lot of time planning through carefully how it roughly should develop, at least, you know, we don't script in a sense of everybody gets a text and learns the text, and, you know, not yeah. only scripted. Scripting to us means we have a beginning and we have an end of a storyline. Yeah. And then there is maybe cornerstones along along the storytelling. How exactly you know people get to these cornerstones or how they present these cornerstones kind of to their audience, that's never predetermined. There no. is maybe, let's say, the maximum would say that somebody who came up with a good idea for a story maybe points out what's important to them for the story, right? For mm -hmm. example, they would say, hey, but for me it's really important that uh, in the end we have a wholesome ending, for example, right? And then everybody who participates in a story like this would know, okay, you know, we're going not all out war and killing each other and blowing mm -hmm. their bases up. We want to come to a wholesome ending, for example. That's one thing. So this is what we consider scripting. So, sometimes we hit the nail on the head 100%, you feel, you feel the storyline yourself and you feel the audience is into it, you know, you guys enjoy it, you watch it and you're, you're picking teams, that's lovely for us to see. Sometimes you feel, okay, this is not going so well, and then mostly um, maybe a storyline fizzles out a bit, and goes into nothing that also happened, which is something we don't like so much. Because, you know, you always want to conclude things and bring things to a logical conclusion for the viewers, right? You don't want to leave all kinds of open ends and things. But it's not, it also happens. As I said, nothing is, uh, yeah, we, we test a lot of stuff pretty mm. much when it comes to storylines uh, too. Another thing to, to point out with storylines is that um, when we do them, it's not like one person runs them. No. So, for example, if you come up with an idea for a storyline, that is your story and it is your responsibility. I, I think that I might just duck out for a minute and say thanks to peeps again. They are they are deep in the storyline talk, right? 
the deep, deep into it. Uh, let's read some noises out. Oh my goodness me, we have had so many gifted subs. This is incredible. Uh, I don't even know where we left off as well. We've been chatting again for a long time. Oh my goodness me, where was it? I think I found where we were. <laughs> uh, so, nobody need... Uh, Nino9, thank you for two months. Lowland2518, Krogan89, Gorilla Mosantolala, uh, Magus Jaru, thank you for the primes. We've got gifted subs from Arene11 to Bananas of Fawn, Kane Colin, Dolig Ich Natasha, Empty the Bird Boy, and Ghosty Begone. Be sure to say thanks in chat if you've been gifted a sub. We had a whole bunch of them from Mystery. O-Y-T-H-T. So thank you to you and everyone else gifting subs. Uh, Kukov for Coco Puff. Availi21. Only Michael. That Kilu. Zendian. Marky Banjo. Julio Burrs. BFSB90. Ahos490. Silver Smug. Fendry Noor. Luna Exorcist. ZW Murdoch. High Housemate. TSF15. Fueltron. Bash. Joe OTT. Gabe Raffi, The Aotreo, Harvey K, Smooshy Ferdy, Borfordorf, Bastion227, and Moyarark81. I don't know how many subs that was, but thank you so much, my dude, and thank you for subscribing yourself. Uh, let's now... Oh, we got a gifted sub to Joe Hills in chat from Liger Gaming. Thank you, my dude. Appreciate you gifting the sub there. And uh, we've also got a whole bunch of regular subs from Araya Asaya, Akari Nemarara. Green Erin, Steve OH, Drusters, Freak Burrito, More Jump More, Luke Ola, Brink of Destruction, Rune Slayer, The Ferret, Zepto, Cyber Haze, Snowy Fall, The Four Pinkmen. Thank you so much for your support. We got SSSSSS Woo Woo here with the Prime, MK O'Brien for eight months, The Light Cosign for eight as well, Official Uni Rob, The Rabbit, DB Mew, Little Door, Prime Aeon, Pulse1147 for 47 months, Sword Miko, Cabus, uh, FX Soons is here with some cheers and bits. You guys should build more together. You're right, we should do this more. I'm going to suggest that. Ghetto Levis, Lord Dragon Wizard, Freight865, Wackies, Dandino, Kano Guide, IPS for Life, uh, Funistology. Daniel C7101 for 43 months. I don't know why everyone is so heavy on being a free thinker. Personally, I'd rather be a paid one. That's a great joke right there. Johnny John J, thank you for the prime. Peeves, thank you so much for your support tuning in. JTD23, thanks for subscribing. It is honestly quite phenomenal just to see so many out of here excited for season 9. It'll be a while before it starts. It'll be here sooner than you know. We can't tell you when it's going to start, but... It is going to be happening soon, and it is going to be amazing. Uh, Lob Stronomosity, thank you for five months of support right there. And uh, The Light Cuisine, thank you for the cheers and biddies, saying here's to another great season upcoming. i got a good feeling about this next season. I think the break will uh, do us all really well. Let's hop back in with everyone. Bro, I know what I'm going to do in my first episode. <laughs> oh my Asymmetry God. is great if it's intentional, but when it's a build like this, where it's clearly symmetrical, but it's one block off, it's, it is weird. Yeah. Pick a side. I had a, I had a message in my chat. I was just muted for oh, yeah. a second there, talking to them, and they were saying, y'all should just get together and build more often, which I couldn't agree more with. Yeah. Well, it's like I a agree. podcast. You know, people constantly uh, request, at least on my Twitter feed, why is there no Hermitcraft podcast? And I say, yeah, we should... <laughs> You know, you should do one. Oh, there was even considering getting a better mic for it. If you do a podcast, guys, I get an XLR mic. Finally. Wouldn't here's the, here's the thing, though. Like, when you ask something to be something else, you might miss the point. Like, yeah. this isn't technically a podcast, but this is what people are loving. So giving yeah. them, like, a hermit build session every now and then, maybe that's what we do. Guys, yeah. I'm so sad. Why? Because I've been planning this dramatic entrance the whole day, and then I had, oh. my, mic, I had my mic muted. Yeah, I know. Everybody go hug Ren. Go, he's, he's right there on the front. Want, we'll hug him. Don't worry, Ren. It okay, had the effect you, you wanted, you. buddy. That was the most unprofessional I I intro ever. You want to do it again? 
Yeah, you you yeah, have full permission to the magic, do it again. The magic is gone. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> it's it's done. I'm sorry. Or Ren. <laughs> How's everybody doing, by the way? Sorry, I, mean, I was I was walking the Chihuahua. Ren, I, I am I am doing terrific. I had some slight anxieties about you know we've taken a break. Maybe people won't be here when we come back. I mean, the amount of people tuning in right now shows us that the Hermitcraft community is so strong. Wait, hold the phone, Azuma Void. Doctor, okay. how many people are watching right now? Uh, I've sure broken my, my stream record from season 7 of like 10, okay. 11, 12. We've got 13,000 people that have been stuck around for the last 13, hour. 13,000 yep. people yeah. plus another few yeah, thousand uh, from all the other hermits witnessed the most yeah. unprofessional... Input. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I got about uh, 500 in mine, so. Okay, excellent. Uh, I'm just gonna, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna go hide in a hole somewhere for a while. I thought it was No, okay. no, it, it was a great job, buddy. You did fantastic. <laughs> I think fantastic. don't worry, everyone. Ren well will done, be Ren. Well done, mm. Ren. Uh. <laughs> Ren will be back March 18th to race in Mario Kart, though. So Oh, apparently I've got a thousand here. Never mind, I was wrong. Yeah. Listen, Joe, I've got my uh, my slides down, my friend. You know, oh, the man. Sli the slide thingies, and then you get a little boost when you do the slide prop. The, do the sli slide well. Ooh, I got it down. Yeah, you heard it here Joe, first. I'm coming if, for you, dude. Dog my, is here to bring the sparks. If my data is correct, yeah, it says 3,600 views on my stream as well, which is nuts, uh, you know. <laughs> well, thanks Crazy. for that, Doc. Thanks for adding to my anxiety. <laughs> yeah, just it, to let you know. <laughs> oh, good. So, okay, um, we thank you. Wow, okay, sub bombs are happening. Okay, you know, you take a you break. Do you have any more for, questions? For or? three months, and then this crazy stream happens where you're completely overwhelmed. Not thanked a single person who donated and gifted, and all of a sudden there's 170 bucks in the docky fund. I don't know how it got there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Much appreciated. Um, all right, yeah, more questions. More questions. Yeah, any, any questions? Let's see. Um, I'm watching this any chat. specific I, I got a trope about this season? We cannot tell you. Sorry. Uh, oh, yeah. Did anyone forget about this texture? Because uh, <laughs> I forgot they what? added this. What? Uh, the the quartz bricks. Oh, I'm, I'm down here at the front. Block. Oh really? Yeah. yeah what? Insane. I've never seen this. This is brand <laughs> new to brick. me. It's what? witchery. It's modded. Yeah. That's cool. It it. I yeah, just I, I'm looking at this and I'm like, oh, maybe we should have used this. All you right. know. So I saw an interesting question. I think that's also a good one for Ren because he's very creative. <laughs> All right, go on. I'll I saw like, some I'm still reeling, but go on. <laughs> so oh, uh, somebody asked, uh, do we sometimes feel create creatively limited uh, because well everything is supposed to be survival ish? I, I would -ish. say absolutely yes, but at the same time, survival is one of the reasons that I play. So it's kind of like a balance. It's like, it does hold you back because it's slow, but that's part of the charm is that it's your world. You go into it, you manipulate it. I mean, it's our world, right? Um, mm. And there's that trade-off, like the creativity that you get to express also comes from a lot of grind and hard work. And I've always liked that, but it, it does hold you back. You could obviously do more if you played in creative, right? Yeah, in a way. Well, I would say that... If in a single player world, when you're on your own or you're doing a single player series, for sure vanilla holds you back. The way that I approach Minecraft these days is that anything is possible. Um, this is a game of infinites, uh, including infinite creativity and infinite um, ideas. The good thing about the Hermitcraft server is that within a couple of weeks, we are in creative mode essentially. Not in the building side of things, but we within a couple of months have access to unlimited blocks of any type any kind yeah. because we all work together to make all the farms so on hermacraft whatever you can imagine will be made eventually. Mm -hmm. um if we look at season eight doc and i made this thing called the octagon which was made out of i think it was if i remember correctly doc thirty-eight thousand deep slate blocks yeah a lot now to get that many deep slate blocks doc had to literally mine out the bottom of minecraft for about two weeks <laughs> but he did it and we were able to bring we were able to bring to life this crazy idea that we had so i don't think vanilla holds the hermits back whatsoever in fact i think it actually inspires us 
because it gives us challenges that we must overcome right yeah like we 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 created this this octagon design um in creative and doc and i were in a meeting and i was like doc dude this is too much deep slate man we don't have enough time in the season for this doc's like dude i got this and that inspired doc to come up with the most insane world eater which then created this crazy underwater glow squid sanctuary which was <laughs> amazing and so much awesomeness came out of that challenge right like that that challenge we had to overcome so if anything vanilla is the fuel that hermits use to go bigger and bigger and bigger you know yeah i don't even think we are here's the scary thing and i don't know how you hermits feel man like every season comes around the mega bases get bigger the builds get bigger everything gets bigger right mm -hmm. and i often see viewers saying uh when like w when is big when is too big right when do the hermits get too big when is everything gonna like plateau and and the builds are just gonna stay the same size i don't i don't even think we have begun my friend no. Not even close. I think we are on. We, we are not even close no, to the size of things yeah. that we are going to be building in the no. future. Gigabase, yeah. Gigabase yeah. is going to be tiny in comparison to what we're going to be doing in the, the next. Build couple of years. Yeah, the build height. Yeah, build height is going up. I'm going to be building my biggest base ever because I can build my tallest base yeah. ever. My, this is, yeah. this is my not This season, my main project is also huge. Yeah, <laughs> the way that I see it, right, like. Between the hermits, the mods that we have available, Light Matica, etc., uh, the technology behind everything that we do, I, I think the possibilities are just really endless. Um, every season when I go to start designing my own base, like I'm thinking, how can I top last season? And, you know, just not even just size wise, but like height, scale, design, everything, you know, like I want it to be better. So. Yeah, well, you know, I, I was talking about this on stream last night. I have a very simple philosophy for anybody who is creative, right? Make sure that the next thing you do is just a bit better than the last thing you did, mm -hmm. right? If you just follow that philosophy in your life, you will eventually end up in, in some sort of God mode. Just as long as, long as you make sure whatever Compou you do next compounding is interest, better right? than... The, yeah, you know, compounding interest, I heard right? this exactly. um this thing exactly. the other day. Read for thirty minutes a day, and in fifty year, years, you'll read a thousand books or something, or ten thousand books. Wow! Like, <laughs> and compounding it's the same with interest. creativity. You know, just focus on getting better. Like, and you don't have to get better in leaps and bounds. You can get a little bit better each time, as long as you're just getting better each time. And honestly, I think that Hermitcraft is just at the beginning. I think that we're starting to scratch the surface of what we're capable of. And, you know, every season of Hermitcraft, we do things that we didn't think we would do. And we open doors that we didn't think could be opened. And then all of a sudden, I mean, look at season eight. We had our first Giga Base. Did, I mean, you asked us two years ago if a Giga Base would have been a thing. We would have been like, what's that? No, that would never happen. And look, it happened. So what, what is next for Hermitcraft? Who knows, man? All I know is it's going to be massive and it's going to be awesome. And Agreed. I can't wait to get started. <laughs> yeah no very excited for what's to come especially with like new blocks being added new mobs being added i don't know about anybody else but i am literally so hyped for decked out like i i literally can't wait i mean just knowing what tango's cooking up is like because that dude just doesn't miss when he makes stuff and it's going to be amazing i think Heck so. yeah. Heck yeah. I think there's a couple of hermits that are actually brewing up some some tasty mini games and whatnot for the season. Um, I think one of the interesting things about this season actually is... Also think about that, Ren. Some hermits are out for redemption, like I was last season. And you guys saw what that led to when, when one hermit is out for redemption. Iskal was out pretty much most of the season, so you know he's going to come back with a vengeance. Oh yeah, no, so, last and, season was my redemption season. And, so, <laughs> yeah, and, uh, yeah. After, my opinion, um, you know, if they like uh, every year there is the the awards uh, on the Reddit, right? Uh, Hermes the Hermes, the Hermes <laughs> and the awards. Like Red and I, this season um, got mm -hmm. like a story idea or whatever, you know, with our whole shtick we had going on with the Hermatrix. But I think a lot of people voted for Javin also doing a really really great season. You know, really solid season mm -hmm. and um yeah this is always this is the good thing with the group you know we always have somebody that will is willing to take it to the next level and then all the other hermits be like oh wait a minute <laughs> you know gotta step up my game gotta step up my game 
Hermit X Y Z is going crazy. Uh, better uh, make sure to keep up. And yeah. uh, that's uh, also what keeps it going here. It's it's not a competition in that it's more of I don't know. Like I, we you play with your, yeah, it's inspiring, right? You play with your mm. idols. For me, for example, Scar is one of my general YouTube idols. And of course, you know, the, I mean, everybody knows Iso is my god. Yeah. <laughs> And then uh, there are several others. But for example, Scar is one of the most inspiring individuals you can even think of. He's so talented mm -hmm. and uh, dedicated. And playing with somebody like that uh, also, you know, gives me the... Like, I want to show my best. Like, my best. I, I totally can. agree there, yeah. And that's also... Um, what is a cool thing that makes it a little bit easier even for us to stay on our toes, right? Over all these years, how does it work for so long? Well, you keep each other going, you know, uh, if one guy slacks a little bit or has some issues, the other keeps carrying. Like, uh, Ren and I, we had a super nice synergy last season. Whenever the other guy has having, was having a little bit of a doubt time or weakness, the other guy all of a sudden came in with another creative uh, inspiration. And uh, boom, you keep on going, you keep on going, and you bounce off off of each other like that. And it's really for good. me like being a part of this server is that's what it's all about, right? Because when I always tell people, I was like, "What's it like being part of the Hermitcraft server?" Well, first and foremost, it is challenging, but yeah. it's a good challenging because I know that I can approach any of my friends on this server and ask for constructive criticism and they're like, okay, this is probably gonna need to be changed and I can respect their opinion. But at the same time, they're also pushing me to be a better creator and a better Minecraft player. And that's what it's all about for me, so. I love that word challenging. I feel like yeah. that's that's exactly the, the right attitude to approach this with. Like, cause if you're an artist, you want to be challenged by the people around you. And this group is always pushing me and challenging me to be better. And mm. not just at one particular thing, not just at building or at redstone, but at communicating, at focusing on having fun, at all of these things that will help me improve as a creator and as a person. And I hope that our viewers find opportunities to both join, but also create groups like this among their peers, because it is a life-changing experience, and I want more people to have it. Yeah, yeah agreed. Just on that note, like um, something I've said many times that... I see other people in the audience bring up is like if you're out there like and oh Hermitcraft's amazing I wish I could join it should be more like that's amazing I need to create my own Hermitcraft right like people mm -hmm. should be inspired because let's face it like we've recruited what you know three people in the last four years or something it, it's yeah. it's probably not going to happen and like maybe you playing minecraft and making videos isn't actually your strength like find whatever your hermitcraft is it could look completely different but you want to make your own thing agreed x mm -mm. i think it's also good to have ambitions you know like you know if you think you're eventually going to get on the server one day you know shoot for the moon dude like you know if you think you can do it but at the same time you know it, it wouldn't hurt to even consider making your own like x said so well i i think creating your own in, in a lot of ways is more ambitious you know learn to be a leader learn to be a communicator learn to be an artist and and uh technical lead i mean these mm. are all like opportunities to learn and to make not only your life but the lives of the people who enjoy your work better and i mean like this week uh there was a new smp uh that uh, or an SMP launched a new season called Black Minecraft. Uh, Janie Laney is the leader on that, and you know I have been so excited watching her and her friends stream all week their new Java stuff, and I'm like I, I want to get in there with my friends now. You know, you you always got to look at this as as an opportunity for us to inspire and challenge each other, not only within our own groups but uh, like across groups, and it, it's just super exciting to see. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh oh, Rand, it looks like her Matrix is making it to season nine, doesn't it? Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Well, uh oh. It's been so it long. So it's good, kind of, you know, it's hard to break out of it. It's good. I don't know. Uh, what do you guys think about the logo? The logo is important. I was thinking maybe the copper in some variation, not like that maybe, but it's 
it's got to stand out a little bit. I, I think, oh, uh, y'all build a town hall? I built an entire forest. <laughs> I reckon uh, these blocks, maybe. Like, it needs to be brighter. So, like, maybe copper and prismarine. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, But, like, when I look at this, I do like it. But I feel like it needs a bit of, like, oddness. Like, maybe on one side, you have, like, a, a big tower. And and then on the, to the right, you have something a little different i don't know exactly what but like just to add some asymmetry into the build yeah that's uh that clock right there is fantastic wow i love that yeah maybe around the clock though we need a little bit more design somebody has to go to the end and get the head uh -oh. <laughs> and <I stick. laughs> so um i want to talk a little bit more about the starter town because i wasn't here when you guys were talking about it i was, yeah, I was listening too much to much do it, yeah, yeah. Um, now for those of you guys who, who don't know uh, me, and there's probably many of you, but I joined Hermitcraft in season four. And um, we came, I joined Hermitcraft with a whole bunch of other hermits that included Cub, Iskull, um, Wells. Uh, oh, I'm going to forget. Oh, uh, Scar. It was Cub, Scar, I... yourself, Iskull, and Wells. Yeah, okay, that's it. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say it was was stress. I was going to yeah, say stress was a part of season, season 3. Five. And um season 5. Uh, called Kingdom Craft and on that server we worked cooperatively to create kingdoms. It was kind of like a cool concept. We completely shared resources and we literally just worked together to try and build these kingdoms. When we joined Hermacraft, um, I mean, I was just terrified. I, I didn't know what was happening. I was so intimidated. I mean, I was like a, already a massive Hermacraft fan and watching loads of Hermacraft content. I couldn't believe I was hearing like Azuma's voice in, <laughs> in the meeting that I was in. I was like, what the heck? And I think back in those days, we were using like Skype or like some other Oh like, yeah, thing Skype, 100%. My mind was just completely blown. And in season four, we had this really cool concept where we had a districtified world inside of a, a, a mesa plateau and we basically turned the plateaus of the mesa into districts right and it was really cool some hermits lived in the blue district the other hermits lived in the purple district um azuma lived in the purple and i lived in the in the blue for example and falsi lived in the blue with with me also and we had i think that was the first maybe it was the first season uh because i wasn't a part of the previous ones but the focus was really on like a central shopping district it didn't start that way right which was interesting um i remember the first shop was like a saddle shop or something and then suddenly everyone was like yo that was just, mine yeah, that was oh yours, that's so yeah. awesome yeah and then suddenly it just kicked off and everyone was like yeah let's make a shopping district this is gonna be sick mm -hmm. and, and the shopping district became this like massive central thing now i've never been a part of any smp where we've had a starter village or town i kind of get the concept you all start like and you live in the same place but i don't know like what does it mean what what is the start of village like you ogs well think of it like you one, need your three. first base right like you need mm -hmm. your first little place but now you're thinking i'm gonna settle here for a while maybe i'll go off build a couple of basic farms get a shop off but i'm gonna have like this little area where i i get my my gusto together and then later i go off and do the big base right yeah. And then we all yeah. do that in the same area together. So while we're all doing smaller projects, it adds up to a communal town. Exactly. And, and, and so, there's like you little pop-up shops and stuff too. Yeah, like this is an exploration update. So for me personally, I don't want to start my base and my base is going to be so huge this season. I don't want to start it till all the farms are done. But that doesn't mean I should have nowhere to live for a month and a half. You know, I'm going to have my expeditions launch from my starter home in the starter village then go wander the server, see all this beautiful stuff, get inspired for where my base should fit, and then, you know, I'll uh, go build that later. You know, we don't need to rush into building bases day one. All right. That sounds pretty yeah. good. So, like, so the starter village is kind of made up of bases, like, but mm -hmm. like, the, like mini bases, I suppose. Imagine living in a house instead of a mall. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's a great way to look at it. All right. Uh, but, uh, no, like, those starter villages are comprised of a lot of things. Lots of pop-up shops, shops, small farms, things like that. Just like, just imagine a little community. Like, what would you want in a little community? And then you just build it. Yeah. All right, awesome. Well, I'm really looking forward to that. Like I said, I've never really been a part of something like that before. I've watched mm -hmm. you guys do it back in the day. Um, but I'm excited to see what happens. And I'm assuming there's probably going to be some prankage that happens. Oh, definitely. <laughs> You know, you know, I think what I'm quite excited about doing 
from what I can tell, like in the group in general, I think we're probably going to be digging a little back into the old school this season. Oh, um, definitely, yeah. And we're gonna I love, be, I'm ready for that. Yeah, we're probably going to be doing some stuff that we haven't done in a while. I think pranks are like really cool, uh, a cool way for us to interact. And, um, you know, you never really know what happens when you kick off a little mini prank war. And all you need to do is just think of something silly to do with to some hermit and then just go do it and see what happens. Sometimes something happens, sometimes nothing happens. But like, uh, I'd like to see more of that base. this season. Almost and, like um, stealing a cow. Changing yeah, X is exactly. odd instead of even. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, but I think something else that's been missing for a while is mini games. Like I'm quite excited to maybe get, you know, get some more mini games going. I mean, Cub was like, is a maniac, of course, and made some of the most epic mini games ever in Hermitcraft history in season um, seven. Mm -hmm. um, but that was just one man. <laughs> RJ, that. man, RJ, so yeah. good. Uh so is there any more burning questions you guys have in chat we can do like all hermits look on their chat now again and you know see if i'm, you I'm looking at mine and i'm not yeah. seeing any questions no, at either. all anymore i think we'll they're really satisfied through. and you know no one's got anything <laughs> to say about anything really i think we <laughs> all right well we'll see you guys later up, then. yeah cheers guys <sighs> <laughs> will we see new collabs? <laughs> like I'm out of here. See ya. Uh, <laughs> will, will we see new collabs? That's a good question. What you, new collabs, in my, if I understand that right, that means people that don't work uh, together yeah. so often. That is one thing. That is a good question, actually. That is also one thing we constantly have, have as a topic somehow. Somehow it ever so often comes up. One guy says, man, I, you know, I feel like no, um, I don't get involved with things too much. And then our general solution is always, hey, do you maybe have a cool project, idea you mm -hmm. want to do? And then some others can involve. We try to encourage collabs all across the board that we get everybody together yeah. as much as possible. Thing is, though, um, as in any group, there is people that record easier together and get along better just bounce off each other way more easier uh, than you uh, with others sometimes it's just a, a matter of practice like if you record a lot with somebody you get better at it and things flow you mm. know and there's always something we have to cons consider so um, some of the group dynamics that evolve are just natural group dynamics right how yeah. it is such a big group some people hang out more together then some i don't know something changes and some people hang out some other people hang out more so sometimes you see groups changing a bit but um uh, of course in a huge group there's always subgroups of people who hang out more together who maybe i don't know play some games in their free time together or do some other stuff some some of us hermits also have met in private already if you're somewhat closer together and things like that you know so yeah Oh my god, it. please answer for, the um, Time zones, hold on, but for, time zones are also a huge time thing. Time zones, yeah. Oh, like, yeah. like, a lot of it Absolutely. is like, why don't you ever record with so-and-so? It's like, because yeah. they're not awake when I have, when I can stream or record <laughs> and like, you know, yeah. it, and I can try to wake up at 4 or 5 a.m., if mm. it's something where it's like we're absolutely locked in but if it's something where it's like they're like hey just hit me up at around this time i'm usually on i'm like i'm not gonna wake up at 5 a.m to see if no. somebody's usually on or not you know like and it's just how it is sometimes i think general For... question is also sorry quickly quickly want to answer this right? no you're fine going like do we are we gonna plan to update to 1.19 as of now of course yeah the unless unless plan, it gets delayed. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, well, yeah, so I, don't I, put I do that think, past them. Well, and, and uh. one thing we've done in past seasons that we're doing again is we've got one of the world borders is relatively close to the spawn area. So when 119 drops, we can expand that edge of the world border out, um, you know, a few thousand blocks or we whatever. Do? We have agreed Actually, that. this time, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. I mean, um, so, so that's how the how the so how the meetings yeah. go. By the way, this is kind of you get a bit of a glimpse uh, of how meetings go. There are some people that talk a lot, like me or Joe or me <laughs> or yeah. X. You know, we have we have some people that are the what are you gonna Alert, do? Alert, yeah. The word leaders in our group that are just more outspoken and constantly ramble. We have a lot of people in our meetings that just hang out and would only speak up if something, you know, if they don't like a decision or a direction we go. It's, uh, yeah. Um, well, Doc, that was written down uh, like yeah. weeks ago and nobody said I would like to talk about it. So I was just assuming we were doing it at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, 
maybe you have to talk about for it. me personally this season like obviously i want to collab with everybody but i'm gonna like really make an effort to approach iskal because him and i have never worked together and we've been on the server together for a long time and he mentioned that in the the little hangout we had and i don't know just i, I want to be more welcoming to those types of things and just you know try to outreach to more people so question here from roman they ask do you uh, think that the youtube thing or the community of you and fans are a more important uh, thing to keep the role play going uh, that is i would say you know the youtube thing and the community thing and everything is one you cannot mm. really separate that you the, I, like we don't think hey you know let's produce something that is hype at the moment in the for the youtube algorithm to see if he can get, we don't think about stuff like that at all when it comes to hermitcraft maybe you know some individual videos you want to make here and there you, you try to hit trending right if you some of mambo's videos had have insane views or so when he makes these cool contraptions and things like that this is different thinking maybe with videos like that you look a little bit for the algorithm and so on right but with hermitcraft um algorithm or popularity stuff never plays a role never like we we often tell ourselves we are independent of any trends and things like that we make trends yeah like that's, that's the, what being an artist is you you yeah. have to be able to just say i'm gonna make my way in the world and you go out there and you do it and we're all adults and we all know that there are certain business realities or whatever where it's like we need to not starve we need our kids to have shelter but I don't care if I'm going to lose money because this video won't be as popular as this other video. As long as my kid has food and clothes and a roof, I'm doing the art I want to make. And yeah. if I can't do the art I want to make full time, I would rather go back to working, uh, fixing websites more than make art for an algorithm. Because that's not art anymore. That's just obeying a robot. And I refuse to do that. If I'm going to obey a robot, I'll do it at a day job, not in my yeah. free time. Yeah. So yeah, it's always a... Is, is, is in many things it's not as black and white you know very simple uh, and it's very complex uh, how we approach certain topics that's uh, sometimes if you if you read in the community how, how sp speculations happen and how things speculate uh, people speculate about certain things i often feel the urge to go to reddit and go like no guys it's totally not like that and no. blah, blah, blah. but you have to uh, restrain yourself from doing that because yeah mm -hmm. you know you don't want to pull the curtain back too far we also want to be storytellers right so mm. you guys need to have some mystery around us and how we do things and why we do things so our stories work still if everything is so open and clear to you uh, to really get into something and feel immersed uh, is harder because you know if you're younger of course you don't question things so much you you watch something and you are entertained but as i know and uh, some other hermits ren for example also knows we have a bit of a more older audience in comparison yeah. to maybe for example green's viewers also right so when we tell stories we also need to consider hey you know we want our older audience that are really smart and questions that asking questions to also be able to get immersed and to be able to do that for the grown-up folks, we need to keep the mystery alive a little bit uh, because you guys see through things easier, right? Mm -hmm. And so you can enjoy yourself too. We got to keep a little bit of distance and mystery. Otherwise, it won't work because you're yeah, too smart. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right? So, agreed. Uh, uh, so got a question got here. Some, yeah, I've got. Some I got. I, Go ahead. Uh, just, just one quick one. Somebody asked, um, "Do we add YouTubers or do we YouTubers and streamers?" So, for the most part, it's just YouTubers. But if you're an exceptional content creator, I don't think it really matters your platform too much. The only reason we tend to sh shy away from streamers is because streamers are live a lot, and that makes for content spoiled. And it's kind of hard to do that with a bunch of youtubers so yeah i had a really yeah. weird experience back in is it season one mm -hmm. and i caught it's a bit fuzzy to me but basically i think me and corrales went and uh pranked cilantro and then cilantro just like you know because he streams it's immediate for him 
and then our videos come out after and then and then we had like a, an audience going where's the reaction where's the reaction and <laughs> it just didn't, yeah. it didn't work very well because there's like a, a synergy because we all use the same platform to deliver the content on yeah. exactly Right. Well, and this is one of those um, things that not every hermit agrees on, you yeah. know, and so like Jeff said, you know, hey, I would be open to having someone who's just a streamer. I personally would be as well, but that's one of those things where we have to find a group consensus and there are enough people who feel differently, you know, we got to kind of figure that out as we go. Don't so I don't want anybody out chance. there who's a streamer only yeah. thinking they've got a good shot at joining the server uh, because, uh, yeah, I've hit worse. that wall. I just uh, got to clearly say, I've got to run. It was uh, fantastic talking with all of you and hanging out with you some more. And uh, <laughs> thanks. For I will see by, you guys. It yeah, it, was, it, it was a great time. And uh, right. I'm going to go say goodbye to my audience and everything. And yeah. I will raid somebody. So have a good day and the good rest of the town hall. Bring everybody. your boomers over here, man. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. All right, guys, uh, take it easy. Okay. See okay. Ya. Ren, Ren had a few questions, he said, right? Well, I think that... Um, us OG hermits have been talking the whole time, and I want to hear a little bit more from our newer hermits personally. Oh. Maybe, the, maybe the crowd is with me on this one. Put him on the spot. Jim, nice. I'm, chuck, I'm chucking no, no you on the fire. <laughs> uh, let me tell you all of their secrets, chat. All the secrets. <laughs> I've got, I've got yeah. a question for you from my audience, okay? Oh, I thought this is quite an interesting one. <laughs> I pretty much know how like most of the hermits function, but I don't know how you function, James. I want to know more. Here we go. Ren, or in this case, Jem. How much in advance do you plan build storylines, etc., or are they more impromptu? Oh, very in advance, extremely in advance. I already got like season eleven plans. I, <laughs> I like, uh, I don't know. I just think of plans all the time, and I write them down, and then I bookmark them for that'll be for that series, that'll be for that series, and then, yeah, I'm like my yeah. season nine base is the black ready book to here. Go. Uh, I'm planning. That's, that's the book. Here. That's awesome. I mean. You're definitely more more organized than I am. I can tell you that much. Like you writing yeah, down, down stuff for loads style. of different series. Oh my yeah, goodness. I have like an ideas notebook. I keep it on my desk and I, yeah. I write everything in there and then I mock it up in creative mode sometimes. It's quite fun. I know not everybody does it, but I, I like being planned. It helps, it helps the storylines work a bit more naturally because I don't have to think about the build. I can think about the people works better mm -hmm. yeah well this kind of leads on to the next question that i got uh which was about the civil war that happened in season six um and the question is are there any plans for these big collabs again well you know the thing the thing about those like massive storyline things that happen those like usually happen quite organically um we don't really plan out super season long things you know i think most of us hermits probably know what we're doing for the first couple weeks or maybe months but we have no idea what's happening in like six months or nine months or a year, you know? We, we definitely don't look that far ahead. I think if we no, did, yeah. Hermitcraft might lose a little bit uh, of its magic because I think a lot of the magic is in the organic um, things that come up when we interact with each other, right? If we just start planning it, then we might as well just all move to Hollywood and just start making like a Netflix series or something, you know? And um, I'd much rather just like keep it organic definitely. personally. The traffic is terrible in LA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, tra the traffic sucks. But um, I guess that that being said, Jim, you know, you haven't you haven't really had the chance to be properly involved, like in a, a, a Hermitcraft. Um, no, yeah, I was thrown into yet. season eight. That was a weird one, wasn't it? Yeah, well, season eight was more <laughs> was quite an experimental season for everybody, I think. But I'm quite looking forward to causing all sorts of chaos for uh, for Pearl and Jim, our newest members. So. Pearl and I have <laughs> so many plans together for you, Oh, you hermits. do? Okay, 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 I'm just saying <laughs> What do you mean by well, plans? Well, you know, last exactly. season we really we really didn't get the chance to uh, fully, fully let loose all of the chaos that Pearl and I can do. Pearl and I are some of the hermits we got added together, but we know each other in real life as well. We've actually met and we're good oh. friends, so was oh. very nice that you added us both at the same time, but uh, that does mean a, a, quite a lot more chaos for you guys. We're quite good at organizing things. Our build styles get along. And uh, I think you can uh, safely say there's going to be some pranks. I'd like to hear more about the definition of let loose and chaos. Please. Well, you know Madam what we did Jim? to Fifi last season? Yeah. You know, they were new. They wanted to introduce themselves and were in their best yeah, behavior. We were trying to be nice. No. <laughs> <laughs> you need to appear non-threatening so that then, rather than making threats, you can just execute threats. Exactly. Exactly. 
Okay, all right, no, it's well. Gonna be, it's gonna be so fun. I can't I, wait. I'm slightly nervous now. I was quite looking forward to just pranking the heck out of you guys and laughing at the newbies, but now I'm you prank slightly us, but you just, scared. You're, that... you know, you gotta be prepared. We're gonna come yeah. back. Thanks, I, I, well, Thanks I, China. I might unleash Doc to do the pranking and, and just watch it in the background. Oh, the goat. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Just unleash the goat on the news. <laughs> <laughs> the goat. Yeah, I mean, um, I'm reading through chat. Um, several times uh, people asked about new hermits. Is there new hermits being added? Um, normally you would catch a little bit wind if, if something along those lines is happening. So I guess, you know, you can answer that questions. Uh, question yourself for, for yourself but maybe you know who knows who knows you never know definitely maybe that's yeah. what doc's trying to say that's, that's a maybe yeah yeah I, I mean i will say we've repeated many times everybody's coming back and you're a lot more likely to see new faces in a season where people are taking the season off and that's not the case this year so i wouldn't you know we, hermitcraft will have new faces in the long term I've got an interesting question here, I think, that maybe everybody can answer. Any plan on starting Season 9 from where Season 8 ended? So I think what this question is asking is, are we, you know, perhaps individually thinking about continuing on from whatever story we were doing in Season 8 and bringing it into Season 9? I'll kick off with answering. I have an opinion about creativity um, that when you do something really good, you don't ever do it again. The reason being that if you do it again, your audience is expecting it to be better than the first time you did it. And it's very, very difficult to make it better. Are, the are you saying there's around. no Hermitcraft Season 9 and this is all a troll? Yeah, this is exactly, this is all a troll. <laughs> so uh, in my case, I guess the question would be, would you would you do uh, the Hermatrix in Season 9? The answer for me is no, because I don't think Doc and I could do it better. So I personally like to start every season completely fresh with new ideas, and if I did something great in the past, that's where it's going to stay. X, maybe you can answer this one because you're, you were doing I'm some hitting, interesting stuff in Season 8. Yeah, like I'm, what, I'm totally hitting the reset do? button. I went outside of my comfort zone. And I mean, I'm always like trying to challenge myself, right? But I tried to challenge myself at something I'm, I guess, not primarily interested in. So now I'm kind of interested in going way back to when everything was maybe a little less thought out more organic more innocent you know i'm gonna try and be less of like a like i, I don't know have a big picture and, and, and just go back to playing minecraft like i did in season two of hermitcraft or whatever right awesome yeah i see it's kind of similar similarly than uh, uh, ren there um certain things are meant to like be more long term um, but mostly when you flesh out a storyline really carefully, it's, it doesn't make sense, much sense to bring it back. Like, for like Civil War, for example, right? People asking us to, you know, for co like war, conflict, that is a, a theme that occurred ever so often. But when it comes to that, we are also hitting a bit of a wall. Like, you know, we, we told a lot of angles uh, how conflicts could be and war and escalation. The question is, will you ever be able to top civil war, right? Civil war was really cool. It felt fresh, something new there going on on the Hermitcraft server. So, um, that's, that's maybe the thing, Doc, right? We're looking yeah. for something new and fresh. We don't want to yeah. do civil war too. Yeah, but you some, know, that, that you happens. know, you can bring some elements back, but yeah, I feel uh, with like picking up straight at the Hermatrix, that would be uh, probably a bad idea uh, generally. But uh, you can build on it, for example, right? Um, there's yeah, different ways to to keep a storyline you liked alive, but you have to reinvent it. Then you cannot do the same thing over and over. That's that doesn't make sense. Yeah. Should we take a moment to talk about this build? I was just thinking of ripping out this uh, staircase at the front and doing something different. Like, this thing is looking like you could say that's complete right there. I kind of feel like it would be cool to throw some more stuff on, on the back of it so it's taller and bigger. But, like, how do we all feel about this build? I think it would be great to reconvene at some point in the season and actually put it on on the server. Yeah, it needs a bit I think of I've ruined it with the billboard. Sorry. Oh, the billboard's <laughs> yeah, great, man. Better. No, no, that's awesome. 
I'm trying to fix it. <laughs> I like it. Maybe, maybe what it needs is like behind it another tower that goes up, like a, a slim one that sort of. Oh wait, who's who's getting all these netherite blocks? Ren, you, you is that you? Oh, are we actually making this? At yeah, some point? yeah, yeah, yeah. You're doing the right, netherite right, blocks. I'm, 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 I'm gonna change it. This is a brainstorming <laughs> stream, Ren. <laughs> I mean, you can get them if you want, right? Yeah. You're really down. If you uh, put them there, you pass. you you grind them. <laughs> pass. <laughs> maybe deep slate would look good. Hey, Doc, in is it possible to put a world eater in the Nether? Yeah. Yeah, but you know what you can also do is do a a bed race where you use exploding beds to get as much Netherite as quickly as possible. Pearl, Cleo, and I did one of those just as a goofy one-off thing last season, and it was actually a lot of fun. We just all went in different directions with a bunch of exploding beds and uh, saw who could get what without dying. I recommend we try it. That actually sounds pretty good. The more I look at the sign, the more that I hate it. No, no, it's great. It well, here's... It up. Oh, oh, no. no. It's a bit quiet. Oh, let me crank it up a bit. I'm blowing it up and starting No, no, again. no, no, please don't. I really think Happening it's good. Next. I think it's awesome. I mean, maybe you, like, keep the diamond blocks and the amethyst. That's awesome. If you want to change up the other bit, sure. But look at that. Like, uh, imagine that thing there goes a fair bit higher. Um, Like, with a nice spire roof on it. These nine blows up already before it even started. There we go. <laughs> Okay. It's a cool Somebody shield said, anyway. 10, everybody. <laughs> Will Hermit Pack ever make uh, some a few, uh, return in the future? So you mean uh, like a, a big scale modded Hermit project? Um, if it's up to me, hell no. I hate modded. <laughs> not that I hate modded, but I'm I'm really not into modded Minecraft. Um, and uh, there's literally no mod pack, nothing out there modded. I find fascinating or intriguing, I would consider spending a lot of time. A lot of hermits think differently, I guess, but I don't think you will see a huge scale Hermitcraft modded project. Not like with participation like we have on the vanilla. That's for seen Vault Hunters, yeah, yeah, seen it all. I, I say all of them, including Vault Hunters. I'm not into modded. Yeah. I think modded is great. Um, I have a lot of fun playing modded. The problem is that to make good modded content is really, really difficult. If you haven't played modern Minecraft before, you just you don't really have any idea like how much fiddling there is, right? Mm. Like it is uh, X knows X and I have played modded series together. Yeah. Um, and you end up doing five hours of grind off camera for like two minutes of content and and when i say grind i mean sorting through inventories basically yeah you know, you know that's not great youtube content so while modded is super fun and i love it so much it's really difficult to make good youtube content out of it just because there's so much grind um which is probably why i don't think you know uh, modded ever really did really well on youtube um i think mostly because the creators get super burnt out um it's just it's just too difficult um, by, by the very nature of, of the grind. I think it that depends on how you did it. I had a modded mm. series. It was an SMP called X Life, mm. uh, where you basically are in. You, it's a really pretty mods, a bunch of aesthetic mods, really cute. Mm. Like not the technical stuff that you guys do. There's mm. lots of like flower breeding and cute stuff. It, it did incredible, but mm. it was just you have ten lives and there's a bunch of stuff that can kill you. Mm. That was the premise, and having a premise like that that is separate from all the mod stuff helps a lot. Well, yeah, I, I love the idea of a non-technical modded series, or like maybe have one technical mod, like it was just create and then a bunch of visual stuff. Because once you start having like 25 technical mods who all interact with each other, I end up spending a bunch of time just reading wikis rather than making yeah. the videos. And and like I'd really, the less time I spend in a wiki, the happier I am as a creator. You know what my problem was with modded packs? always i found a game breaking exploit and ruined my own fun because i don't know you know then i i don't know draconic evolution wow amazing then i find that you can get uh, i don't know all sheep and create them so they actually drop draconic uh, whatever the crystals was you needed and then uh, day three i had full-blown mega draconic armor and was indestructible and, and had no fun anymore yeah it's like, not yeah. balanced 
It's, I, and, and that's just the way I play. It, like in, in normal Minecraft, there's also exploits, but they're not that powerful. I mean, you sure you could dupe or whatever, but you know, all of a sudden you get super overpowered equipment in these mod packs, and then you're just OP and game over. There is no reason to do anything else uh, because you have the best armor. You fly around everywhere. You can literally build in creative. And I cannot restrain myself from using these exploits, so it always wrecked it. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think I think this basically, you know, there's there's at this point, modded has sort of split, right? So when I say modded, I'm talking about traditional modded, where you're be playing vanilla Minecraft using mods. What Jamie, you're, what you're talking about is the evolution of that, where, and this actually it does excite me, where we use modded to create content rather yeah, than the other way around, crazy. right? I do it. For I'm the a big fan of that. Series. I'm a really big fan of that because. With modded Minecraft, you can literally make Minecraft do whatever you want, right? So if if one of us can come up with a really amazing concept for a multiplayer series, we can make it happen with modded. We have the the talent in the Hermitcraft community to make anything happen. I, I, I think be... I think the concept run is mini games. I feel like yeah, vanilla mini games are kind of have kind of been pushed very far and are tricky mm -hmm. to get right, but. With modded, man, there's just so many more possibilities, right? Well, there's infinite possibilities. We can literally make anything happen. Like, yeah. Just look at like MCC and some of the and, and Twitch rivals and Clash of the Creators. Already, what is happening is Minecraft is being pushed away. Modded basically turns Minecraft into a different video game, and that is super exciting to me. The trouble is that us hermits don't really have time to do this, right? In order for a project like this to work, a hermit has to dedicate they're you know more than half their time every week to making this modded project work and if that happens then you lose connection with hermacraft you're unable to focus on doing hermacraft and so on so i don't think it's a matter of whether we like i think some people like modded some people don't i think the hermacraft group we just don't have enough time to conceptualize something that's going to work for everybody well, I yeah. think we don't have enough time. So. There's, there's even sometimes debates in the group that we say, if you play on Hermitcraft, normally you shouldn't have time to do anything else. And if you have time to run, I don't know, a bunch of side series, then you're doing something wrong with your Hermitcraft content. Because, no, you know, this is normally, if playing on Hermitcraft should be for you the biggest insp yeah, motivation and whatever and everything else it's, gets a second seat behind Hermitcraft and I feel called I, out Doc is no. calling me out directly <laughs> well, <laughs> well, no I mean, but you know I, that's just how I personally see it like it's not a rule we have just jealous the, of the time you can, you can find in, in, group, in between but, well, yeah, I, have four kid, series running you know. during season yeah, okay. 8 but here's, here's the thing, though, is, is that, Jem, you don't have uh, the responsibilities that Doc has no, or that I, I have. that's what I tell everybody when they're like, how, how can you do this with some hermit side? I'm like, I don't have kids, I don't have a house, I don't have pets. I, there's so many things I don't have that, like, free mm -hmm. up time. Yeah, so so I'm not trying to call, or I don't think Doc's trying to call you out no, in particular no. here. But, like, I will say no, that when I funny. quit my day job to stream and make YouTube videos, I didn't quit my job to become a let's player or a streamer or a youtuber i quit my job to do hermitcraft and i am yeah. so excited about this next season because i have more time now cleo is full time as well we had a, a blast being able to collaborate last season in ways we never had before when we both had our day jobs and it is just so invigorating being able to put so much focus into one thing creatively and i'm pumped I agree. I envy you guys that can do that. It, it's incredible to the ability to stick to something for an entire year and see it all the way through is so cool about Hermitcraft. Yeah, that's yeah. a good point. It's it's rare to find that, right? So rare. Maybe that's the thing that keeps it going. Yeah, it's some projects here. on YouTube. Everything is a bit more fast paced on YouTube in comparison to Hermitcraft, of course. I mean, we're everything here. It's more on the long, long game, the long game kind of, yeah. But I think it's, you know, the the positive thing about it is, as it is more set up for the long game, we also are okay with taking a break like that. We can do that. Our brand, our whole server will not die if you take a little bit of a break. If you're hype beast, you know, and constantly chasing the hype, dropping is something. If it's no longer super hype, you can't do that. Then you have to unlimited grind and you will grind yourself to death on YouTube. 
and um, yeah, this uh, something you don't want to have because then, yeah, you you know you see that a lot YouTube content creators burning out and stuff like that. You hear these stories, and um, yeah, having a certain consistency also is good for your peace of mind, and you don't feel stressed out that you have to reinvent the wheel every day. Um, and um, such good yeah. advice. Yeah. Doc, you I said to me, hermits. I get to learn so much. <laughs> you said to me way yeah. back in the day, like slow and steady r wins the race. I'm talking before mm. Hermitcraft. Yeah. And like that, that stuck with me straight away. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh, you know, you could push for more growth and uh, more. You know, there's always ways to do it. You know, the techniques, how to get hype, and so on. But I feel uh, a slow and organic growth is also better for yourself to get used to this whole thing, you know. You might, like if you're so young, like a gem is super young in comparison to me, for example. And uh, I know some content creators out there that are even younger than her and are like I don't, millionaires already because they're absolute hype machines and went crazy, you know. Um, but if you're so young and get overwhelmed with so much, it can't be a good, a good thing in my world. It's just, yeah, gotta be careful. Yeah, I've always tried to build something sustainable. You know, I try to find a schedule that works not just for me, but for my kid. Because, you know what, if I was only able to quit my day job by, like, working on this every hour of the day outside of that day job, that wouldn't have been sustainable because my kid needs me, you know? And, and so, you know, if you're trying to grow, you want to grow toward the light, not box yourself in in a way where you're, you're going to be eventually just suffocated by your Doug, own Doug sounds like an old man now yeah man you know I'm embracing my dad dadness fully you gotta do that you know it's a new role in life so you'll change and there will be dad jokes there will be uh, you know advice of uh, in, a, in a way of like Hey peeps, I uh, thought I'd take a moment to check in with you again. God, we've been talking for a long time, haven't we? Somehow I got like a bit of a sore voice. Not really, just a bit deep. Even though I haven't been talking all the time. <sighs> that is some water. I want to say thanks to a whole bunch of peeps again because there's been just uh, an incredible amount of support as again. Um... That name I read out, so I'm going to start here. I might be uh, rereading some. Lobster. <laughs> Lobstromosity. Oh, I'm butchering this name. Thank you for the support. The Light Cossin. Thank you for the cheers and biddies. Yuko Haiga. Thank you for 11 months. Cyclone Dusk. We have Nordicay on gifting subs to California Moon. Uh, Pinanuki. Mr. Zibson. Mark Tracer, Nord Moore, thank you as always for giving the subs. If you heard your name being read out loud, be sure to say thanks in the chat. We've got Sino7C here with the Prime. Monkey Mode is here for donation, saying cheers to a new season. Tea on me. Thank you, my dude. Uh, James Drew, 27 for 71 months. That's an evil X right there. Melonfish, Rosebubs, Makeshift Chaos Pixie Mage, Wart Thayad. And Subscoy, thank you so much for the, the Prime subscriptions. We got Arena 11 with some cheers and bits. Nakuni Dragon here for 22 months. Exiles here for 12, a whole year. Um, saying some lichen might uh, soften the difference between Copper, Prismarine, and Strip Warped Wood. Hey, that's a, that's a great suggestion, the old liking. Brian1933, thank you for subscribing. Mark Angela, thank you for two months. Crystalina. With the Prime, Cyber Chocolate, PBS Sunny, Cloudboy44 with the Prime, Anonymous Cheerer, Alaric, Rahal, Hef, Frastos, gosh, oh, getting tired reading all these names. Zephyrio, I'm sure I'm butchering so many of them. Moonflea for 35 months, LYJ Muji for 30, and Sword Migo, thanks for gifting a sub to Lanair, appreciate it. Peeps, there's still loads of you tuned in, I hope you're enjoying... What is uh, almost like a little bit of a podcast here, I guess, as some of you have pointed out. It's uh, been a really, really fun experience, actually. Very cool to do this. Is Ren using Netherite again? Oh, it's Polished Deep Slate. <laughs> uh, the Last Psycho, thank you for 15 months. DKZ Marvel, thank you for the cheers and biddies. Corundo, thank you for the Prime. Aqua Blast with the Prime. 
And Nukai Dragon is gifting a sub to Kyle Derny. 46. Be sure to say thanks in the chat. Thank you again. We got the Light Cuisine here with the cheers and bits saying I love that y'all play on the long game. Been watching since the very early days of season two. It's great that Hermit Craft has kind of always been here. Something I can rely on. Thank you, my dude. Uh, also, the one Sigma. Thank you for the cheers and bits. We've got Ender Stir here for three months and Ren's Rev here subscribing. I would like to do a poll and then bring these results back to Doc and Ren. So uh, do short, let's call it season length, right? Okay, so less, hmm, actually, I'm going to put it in months, right? We had a six month season. At least a year, 18 months, two years. So I'm going to make the poll last a little bit longer than last time. So I'm asking the season length, six months, at least a year, 18 months, which is a year and a half or two years. Like, how long do you want a season to stick around for? That's what I want to know. Sea Turtle, thank you for the cheers and biddy. Cyclone Dusk, thank you for gifting subs to Totes My Ghost for 29 months. And Jay Beard, as always, we appreciate the gifting of the subs. Be sure to say thanks in chat if ever you're given one. Marmot95, thank you for 30 months. Peeps, I want to take a moment just to tell you about what I've been up to uh, in and around the channel, I guess, because I uh, had a lot going on the last few days. There's been free snapshot videos or whatever over on the main channel. Um, there's another one coming out tomorrow that I've got to make. I also started playing guitar again, and I've already stopped. But in that time, I made two videos and put that over on my second channel. If you want to go and uh, check out me playing guitar and listen to some cool music, then that's been done over there um also we recently launched a new season of let's play minecraft together which is our sort of air quotes vanilla plus uh patreon server if you're interested in playing in a new community at the beginning of a world you can go over to sumovoid.com slash get whitelisted for details on how to join let's get that off the screen there there we go cool that's my plugs done um Burr Rob, thank you for the Prime. T7 Fox, thank you for the cheers and biddies. Can we get a bi-weekly Hermit cast? I mean, I would love to do something like what we're doing right now on a regular basis, but I don't think a podcast specifically is something that's actually, you know, going to uh, to happen. Unless someone in the group really wants to make one, you know? I'm Xylus, thank you for subscribing. Appreciate it. Birdie J, 373, thank you for the cheers and biddies. Like, I, I would love for there to be a Hermit Craft podcast i don't think i'd be want to be the person that ran it and you need someone somewhere who's like hey i'm i'm the coordinator i'm the organizer i can make this happen you know without that it's it's hard to get like uh, a group of people to kind of like collectively agree to commit to something like that right like that's a that's a big ask which is why you don't see something like that really happen Yeah, uh, Savian2501, thank you for the cheers and bits. Broken Beneath, thank you for the Prime subscription. Very much appreciated. I think we should get together again. Maybe in a week's time, who knows, and uh, continue this build. Maybe if we have a little bit of time to think about where we want to go with it. I, I, I look at this and I think it's, uh, it's amazing, but I kind of think to go to the next level, you need something in this space here and maybe break up the asymmetry on that side. Also, we've kind of we've kind of stripped out like a lot of the quartz. I took it out of the window, which I think was good. And I kind of wonder if it should go back on the build somewhere as well. Um, right, real weasel storm. Thank you for the cheers and bits. Saying, will hermits be helping hermits returning this season? Yep, absolutely, it will be. Um, you can count on that. Anyway, I'm going to jump back in with Ren and Doc. They're back in call. All they got to do is get in contact with them. Um, and for a reasonable price, it did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. So, uh, I, uh, I I ducked out for a moment there just to read some noises in the air. Yeah. Oh, cool. I, uh, we I asked. Talking about the shopping district. Oh, cool. I asked my audience uh, how long they think a season should be, right? So I gave them six months, which was two percent of the vote. Uh, two years was just five percent. Eighteen months was twenty-six, and at least a year from sixty-seven. Yeah. So it kind of tells us like what the hermits, uh, sorry, what the audience expect, right? Mm. 
which is uh, very insightful. So thanks to everyone for voting. I was very interested to see the results of the previous vote where it showed that the, ma the vast majority of the audience doesn't care about the seed. Yeah, Ooh. 87%. Yeah. And that actually blew my mind. Um, I told you so. Viewers. For, uh, let me tell you why. <laughs> Every yeah. time a new season comes around, or in fact when a, a new season ends, one of the primary things that us hermits talk about is the seed and getting the seed to the viewers and making sure the viewers yeah. are happy with the seed. Yeah. This takes up many hours of conversation. Uh, but now hearing that the seed actually doesn't really matter that much to you guys, I don't yeah. know, it, kind of re it relieves a little bit from me because now I'm not going to worry about the seed ever again. I I've never, never been someone that worries <laughs> about seeds because yeah. Minecraft is, to me, Minecraft is a giant ball of putty, right? You can turn the game into anything you want it to be. So whatever the seed is, is irrelevant. Um, if you don't like that mountain, get rid of it. If you think that place needs a mountain, make a mountain right like you can make the seed work for you um and i think that's more interesting than like a pre-planned seed that's just my personal opinion but obviously you know um the way that we handle the whole seed thing usually is we talk about it for a very 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 long time and then we resolve it with a vote of some kind um, it's, it's like we think it's the most important thing ever but it really is yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah. So that was quite an illuminating vote. I thought that was very, very interesting to see that. It will also, this illuminating vote will also confirm one decision we made this season. You guys will learn about when the season starts. And I'm really yes. pissed about this. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually super, super happy about that decision now too. It's, that, that yeah. is, we did, we, for yeah. the first time ever, the group of hermits actually did something right together. It's amazing. Yes. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Could we have more streams like that from time to time? We'll try, we'll try, of course. I mean, there's always the stream weekends. We already are in the making of uh, yeah, scheduling a stream weekend for the Hermitcraft server. Um, I, I was so thinking, that's also soon. you don't yeah. have to say anything now. I'll bring it up again later. But we could perhaps mm. reconvene what we're doing here next week. Maybe if we get like a bit of time to talk about this build and where we want it to go get more eyeballs eyeballs on it yeah. and then you know have another little creative session because this was yeah it is a start just to do some building you know yeah we need some more eyeballs on this thing and some people just coming in starting building but you know we're getting there it's it's starting to become something i would feel we can consider putting on hermitcraft at some point for yeah. sure it looks we awesome. have high you know if we there is a certain level, I guess, that is expected if you want to put something on Hermitcraft. And it actually does happen sometimes that other Hermits call, I don't know, some Hermits out and go like, yo, that thing you built in the shopping district or whatever. <laughs> maybe <laughs> maybe <laughs> you should have yeah. another look or so. Maybe needs an upgrade. You know, um, so we, we do we do that. But uh, these things really take years, you know, that you actually... And we still work on that you know still sometimes people hold back what they want to say because you know nobody wants to be the drama queen or wants to be rude and so on but it's it's really important that that you can do that right that you nobody is uh, feels personally like offended or whatever when they when somebody says yo <laughs> It's just part of learning to be a group, really, yeah. right? Learning to do you still need that build you did on day one that stands in this very prominent spot made out of wood? <laughs> you know, <laughs> something like that. That definitely happens. Yeah. Now the sign looks so much better, says the chat. Right? It do, what, it's true. what are they saying? Was my first sign absolutely terrible? Is that what they're saying? No, I love the first one, but this that looks, looks so cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, what what I'm seeing eggs. now, though, is that it's wider than what's below it, and it feels like the deep slate now needs to become part of a bigger structure. Like when I was looking at it a second ago, I was thinking like, well, this can't just like be a big flat wall, so it's going to have to become part of something. And like, can you perhaps give this thing some shape and some purpose? You know? Yeah. Uh, like I was it, thinking about just shaving this, like getting rid of these. Yeah, hey, the depth there is nice. Yeah, you do, You still need something behind it. Or maybe you don't. Well, I'm going to get rid of the wall see what it looks like. Go for That's it. That's the beautiful thing about this game, right? Like, you can you can just erase and then rewind. Yeah, I think if you, get rid of, song. if you get rid of that wall, it could actually be cool. Blow there and sit there. The pillars you def should leave there, yeah. Yeah, I'm, now, I'm now working on the entrance. I'm thinking, like, what if we had a bit more of like a windy road leading up to the front of the building? 
I need to turn off the fog setting. Whoever um, can I thought Oh, question. yeah. So this is a thing that I've noticed that's going to affect our season, right? Yeah. The, the fog. Oh, this is a mod. This needs to be a mod. I uh, mm. I will contact Henkel. What? Um, so the, the di render distance yeah. like ties the fog of your client to it. So because we're on a, like my little small server that's got a small viewing distance, the fog yeah. is really close. It doesn't matter if you turn yeah. up your own render distance. Those two yep. used to be separated. In previous yeah. seasons, the render distance would be like 12 on the server, and mine would be like 20 because I liked the fog being distant. And yeah. it, it really affects you know, the view of stuff. So oh, yeah, when we're all playing together, it's going to be harder to see what's further away. So we really need a a mod to uh, uncouple the way the fog is handled because process. It's awful. Oh, a carpet already has an option to disable it. Says process or tweakeroo. Carpet. Tweet. Wait, I thought I had carpet installed. Hey, hey process. Oh, I do uh, player. Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna use tweakeroo anyways again this season. So yeah. Does that mean we need carpet on the server to decouple it? I guess. Process. If you want the client side, you need it on both. Okay. If you want the client side, you yeah, need so it. Yeah, so it's both. not on this server, but I've got it on my client, yeah. Interesting. All right. So I've got another question here from earlier on. You planning to give the starter village a theme? I look. Uh, I don't want to say too much there. Like, it's it's sort of like that message I wrote in chat the other day. So like, I, I'm not going to say too much, but there's something I could say. I guess I, I don't I don't know what to say. Okay, don't uh, say anything then. Okay, yeah. I yeah. was I was never a friend of these districts. Or themed areas like we did it was it season five or something we did it in season four and six i, I loved yeah. it in season six that I, I think season six just the world that we created people can just go to that central area and it is just chock a block with amazing builds it's yeah, so it's good awesome. i think we really knocked it out of the park that season i think okay. that um you know what the viewers don't don't maybe take into consideration is that the first week on the server the hermits are pretty poor like we we're all running around with like pretty bad tools we don't have efficiency we don't have beacons basically right so we don't have access to like all the blocks that we want so making a theme from the very beginning is really difficult most it is we don't have the resources right? it is however like i i sat and i thought and i found a really really i'm so stoked to show people my first build because it looks amazing and it's not terribly difficult to get the like the block set that you need there's like three places you go and grind and then you end up with like a really amazing looking block palette but i know All exactly right. what you're saying i just like that's the way i approached it i was like i'm not going to have everything at the beginning what can i find that's actually not too difficult and then like get off to a really great start so there there are a few options but yeah you're totally yeah, right that's super awesome i think what will happen with the starter village is um it's going to organically begin the, the thing is, like, also in the beginning, when you theme something like a starter village, right? So say, for example, we said, okay, Season 9 starter village is a cowboy theme, right? Like a, like an old school cowboy theme. It, every building has to be made out of wood. It's got to have a saloon and a church and a jail and all that stuff, right? Now suddenly, like, the hermit's creativity is, is, is not unleashed, right? Every hermit now has to focus in on this theme thing. And I think that that's a way to like stifle organic creativity, especially in the beginning. I would much rather we just let the village be chaos and then maybe from the chaos will come a theme of some kind, right? Yeah. I like the I'd collage effect as well, way. right? Like a lot of Minecraft communal areas end up looking like collages and I think that yes. looks really cool. Yep. Yep, I agree. I'm very excited to to do this starter village like i said i've never done it before um and i think it's just going to be really nice to just log on and just see other hermits just making videos near you and yeah. you know that's super cool and that's just something that i've never really experienced in hermitcraft in season four 
you know, we were close, but not really that close. In season five, we were completely separated. In season six, we were again, I could see Falsy working on her, her base every now and then, but that was about it. You know, season seven, yeah. So this is the first time where literally you will log in, work on your building, look up, and there's Doc building something and Azuma in the background, you know, and like Scar is over there and Pearl is building something. And that's going to be super awesome. And it's going to like bring the world to life, right? In, in ways Absolutely. that maybe hasn't happened before or, or at least since uh, season three or two. So I'm excited for it, man. I think it's going to be awesome. Yeah, I'm pumped. And uh, doing this today got me like even more excited, you know? It's taken some of the nerves away, strangely enough. Good. <laughs> That's good. Um, yeah, I suppose I did have some other questions that came through also. Uh, maybe, let me have a look here. I want to go more into the the question about how, how advanced we go into our builds. Like how much planning do we do? Because I'd be quite interested to hear from you, X, like season nine. You know, like how much because having worked with you for a very long time and having done lots of stuff with you also, I know that you like planning ahead quite a lot. You I like do. to know what you're doing and like that like calms you and and helps you make the best content that you can because you know, okay, I know exactly what I'm doing today. And that's awesome. Whereas me, I'm the opposite. Like I'm a very chaotic person and I wish I wasn't. But um, like how far ahead for season nine are you actually planning at the minute? Not very far at all. Um... Like I said earlier, I wanted to have this more organic experience. So, like, I feel like the way I do Hermitcraft with the planning and stuff also, like, falls in line with, like, IRL, the way I plan and whatnot. So, like, back in Season 2 or whatever, I didn't even have a notepad. I just log on and do something each time, right? It was always one thing to right. the next. I kind of want to get back to that. I kind of want to, like, be in the moment more and find little inspirations, especially for, like, tinkering mm -hmm. with redstone and... And because when you go to planning mode, you tend to like think in terms of like maybe like a product, like I'm building a skeleton farm. So how's the skeleton farm going to be different? I'm going to use these blocks. I'm going to present it this way. This is what we're going to do in the video. Like all of a sudden you're, you're figuring everything out before you even logged in. And I kind of want to just be more in the world and have like more spontaneity and just ideas come to me on the spot. So usually I'd tell you I have like a whole notepad full of ideas and I, I do have some stuff noted down, but I'm kind of going into this one with more of a let's see what happens approach. Oh, that's interesting. I think uh, I was, you guys were talking about the break earlier. I wasn't, I, I missed that a little bit, but what I will say about myself personally is this break has actually been amazing. Um, you know, for me, season seven ended, my last episode of season seven came out and then we started recording season eight like three days later. Yeah. <laughs> so I was super stressed and just didn't feel like I had a moment to actually uh, gather myself. But this last like three, four weeks, for the first time ever in Hermitcraft, I have got like so much inspiration and so much planning done that I like, I literally know exactly what my first three episodes looked like like from minute one to minute 20 i can make i could make them now if i could just get on the server that's and, sweet um, and i've got i've done so much extra stuff also like artwork and all sorts of things and that is because of this break like the break really was super important i think and you know i think that um it's definitely something to be said for the future i think that as hermits, we got to be willing to give ourselves a little bit of time off sometimes just so that we can recharge the batteries and like find the energy to to basically bring the viewers the best possible content that we can we can give them because that's what it's all about, right? Like making the best possible content that we can for the viewer. Absolutely. So I'm super excited. I've never been this organized for a season ever. Usually I just log on for episode one. I didn't even know what's going on. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. And then my first week is super stressful because I don't know I don't know what I'm doing. It's just chaos. This time around, I'm super calm and collected and excited. Um, Sounds great, yeah. man. It's kind of like we're flipping roles a bit. Yeah, I mean, you're yeah, the organized bit, one now. <laughs> well, it's not going to last very long. I can promise you that. But I'm I'm savoring it while it's while it's there. It might it might turn into a bit of a groovy. You know, you might find out that uh, just having those plans there are like really quite helpful. Well, <laughs> we, we will see. We'll see. 
trying to <clears throat> see if there's any more questions that we haven't answered or seen. I would, I would like for people in my chat to just put their hand up in chat if they weren't here earlier to kind of get the statement on when the season is starting. I, I, I got a, I'm wondering if like people are sort of tuning in and, and they're like sussing out. It isn't starting yet, but like obviously they're here just chatting about it. Uh, oh my god, my chat has blown up. So like clearly there were lots of people who weren't here at the beginning. Mr. Mr. Shrubway, a uh, quick question. They want to hear my approach to the planning and stuff. Yeah, in go short, I go like this. I have a, a big vision where I want to be at the end. I know already. And then the, all the small bits in between, I fill in on the fly, mostly from week to week. And always with a lot of people helping me. Always. Um, that is the process like Monday, you know, kind of think about what's the plan and then Tuesday I meet with my people and then we figure shit out. Sorry, excuse my French. Oh, but... Doc. <laughs> I've got oh, to delete God. my live stream now. But, uh, I'll delete it that, from the internet. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's how it goes pretty much. Yeah, for me. So, yeah, I don't plan so meticulously. Actually. Yeah. Um, what are we most excited about for season nine? Uh, if, for me if we personally. could, uh, if we could just roll back round to all the people in oh, yeah. chat that are waiting to like find out. So oh, yeah. we had a date, and then things changed, and so we learned that you know uh, putting the date out there was not a good idea. And as I explained earlier, my intention was for it to be in my video hopefully someone would spot it but like if no one did maybe i could give someone a nudge when we want to like hype things up i put it at the very end of the video for like a frame and when i edit my video and i watch the last bit after it plays the last frame it goes completely black and i'm like yeah you you, you can't see it but it's there when you watch it on youtube it pauses the last frame rather than go to black and so as soon as the video went live everyone saw it and then a few days later, we had to change plans. And and it's like a bit of a disaster. And, you know, to respond to a bad situation, Doc, you had this amazing idea of getting together, talking to the community, just saying what happened for those who are uh, in and around my channel that saw that date, for the people on Reddit who picked it up. Um, we now have our own dates. We're not making them public because they might change. But, you know, the season will start soon. We needed more time. We've got that time, and uh, this is a way for us to, like, you know, communicate that that's what's happened with the audience and take their questions and whatnot. Yeah. So, and, yeah, to to say, as our question, so what changed now, what changed now? A lot of factors. As I said, for example, we, as usual, maybe, as, to, yeah, as we always do, kind of underestimated uh, what time goes into planning things out a little bit, hearing everybody out and blah, 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 and, we, and then... Uh, yeah, some individual in uh, stuff. Some people uh, not there. Need a, need a, are not there this day. You know, it's a million factors. It's not only one thing always. We said it like a million times before already. You know, don't pin it on Scar. You know, uh, being uh, in recovery or uh, and things like that. It's not um, about individuals. It's always finding the middle ground for everybody. And in the end, we just realized, yo, we had so much stress last season and the goal was we want to take a proper break. So we go with a nice relaxed attitude into the new season, just as Ren just described how he feels, right? Inspires, relaxed, inspired, relaxed, calm. And then we figured out, okay, okay, now we have this release date out there, times r r rushing, causing stress already again. Backpedal. We need to push back a little bit, give us some breathing room, and then we, we go at it. Now the new date is set in stone. It will not move if the world doesn't end for some reason. And that's it. And it's re very soon. But we don't want to put it out there. Because, yeah. <coughs> of the reasons just explained. Right? We don't. Because otherwise, if something changes again and we need to push, we're not talking about pushing it month here, right? We're talking pretty much going from week to week. That's our time frames here you know we're not moving moving along forever um but yeah so we don't want to put the date out there anymore and m let's see how it goes in the future but i'm for example in the camp of we should never 
say any launch dates or whatever. Other hermits say it's really important to have this super fixed date because you know then everybody knows there it is happening. We can hype it up specifically. Would maybe be also be a good question for the for the chat so we maybe get a bit of an idea of that. Like, is it really important for you guys to know this exact start date? Like, you know, Netflix show seasons so and so on starts date boom boom and here's or do you guys are you informed enough to keep your eyes open and know exact you know keep the track on twitter and know oh hype is building it's happening okay let's watch i'm gonna turn it into a Ooh. poll of my channel because it looks yeah. pretty mixed that looks more divided yeah more even between yes and no kinda yeah I always say people will find out, but you know, some hermits really say it's super important. I mean, we are always unsure about it. I feel like my my poll requires a bit of context, so people can vote now. But like, we're talking <sighs> in theory, not <sighs> this season. Yeah. And I'm seeing more votes for yes. Although now that's starting to swing to no because it's not for this season; it's just in general. And it's swinging to no. Yeah, our reasons, our reasons why we don't want to share it are pretty clear, right? I mean, that's the thing. You saw it live now, right? We had a we had a situation like that where we released a a date and we couldn't hold it and it cost nothing but stress. So yeah. But on the other hand, it's good if you have this fixed date, uh, so everybody knows there it's happening. So yeah, most likely we'll start. Shortly before the season, the date actually happens, we'll start hyping. And I guess you will get a, a date eventually this season too, but just not now. Oh, I'd say keep the iron. Yeah. Just experimenting. Yeah. I feel like maybe like some sort of four cylindrical tower configuration could like sit behind this thing and. A week is hype is hype enough for warning. I always think you know we also talked about that with hype, right? The internet is so fast paced these days. If you hype something up for two weeks, when it finally arrives, then the hype is dead already. I feel like <laughs> a week to me feels like it's the max of hyping something. Yeah. It was nice when I knew a few days to a week, says people, yeah. No date is better than wrong date. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take a, a moment just to talk to my chat again. Yeah. Be right back. Alrighty then. When did we last check in? i got a whole bunch of noises here. Uh, the Light Cuisine was there with some more. Cheers, I'm Betty's. Saying Hype Train. And Shusharu is here for seven months. Tier free subscription. You know what that means, peeps. Actually, you might not do. Tier free means that you can uh, be a part of the Let's Play Minecraft together server. Uh huh. Just putting that on the screen there for you. We also had a, uh, a new Patreon, Bridey Fletcher. Thank you for signing up. Greatly appreciated. Rebellious Gamer two three four six here for donation. Saying, what are all the hermits' opinions on very Simple cosmetic only mods like rechiseled, chiseled, where they have one tool that opens up more building options, um, ones that add more building blocks and a variety of blocks. You know, that's the kind of thing I would love to see us experiment with, but like as a group, it, it's it doesn't work. There's too many conflicting opinions, which is why we stick to vanilla so uh, closely. There's a few things we've been able to agree on, um, but I feel like that. Unfortunately, although it's simple, it, it totally treads into the modded territory because someone downloading the world in the future can't experience that. Everything that we do, you can experience through the world download, and I think that's the best metric for uh, figuring like what you can and can't do is probably that world download, you know? So maybe in the future, Mojang adds support for like small mods inside of data packs, then it's something that can remain in the world through the world download uh wispy woods too thank you for the prime the one sigma as well with the prime mr x insanity thank you for subscribing uh catrice here at cheers and biddy saying scale is a huge fan 
And I can see why high scale. Hello to scale then. Thank you so much for the biddies. Uh, Sangelo Live with the Prime. Noximus. Eas68 for 21 months. Idyllic Vahala here with the cheers and biddies. We've got Sledge Monkey here with a donation. Just saying, just wanted to let you know how much I appreciate you and your content. I don't get on Twitch much, but I've been a silent viewer of your tutorials, update videos, and Hermit Craft since Season 2. Thank you for what you do. You're a good man. Dude, I appreciate you saying that ever so much. And, uh, you know, feel free to speak up and say hello. Obviously, there's a lot of ch chatter and people in chat, but uh, you don't always have to be silent. But uh, thank you so much, my dude. That's greatly appreciated. Kufuku is here with some cheers and bits saying, Can we take inspiration from game companies here? They found that announcing things the day before can generate hype, while also giving breathing room for date changes. It's the best of both worlds. Yeah, I, you've given me a thought there, which is like, when everyone's got their videos ready to go live and nothing's going to stop us, maybe that's when uh, we do the hype thing. So I'm making a note. That's a really good thing. I actually pictured myself before doing the stream taking tons of notes, and all I've got is four. <laughs> and one of them is consider buying a Switch, which I did not predict. <laughs> did not predict. Mr. Snack Luke, thank you ever so much for the Prime subscription, my dude. Greatly appreciated. Um, Berry Mandy says, "What well, I missed the discussion about Scar. What was said? I mean, I'll say this: like some people have speculated and blamed Scar and whatnot. Just like give Scar his space and don't put the focus on him when it comes to this stuff, right? Like we have our own internal reasons and whatnot that's going on that you know we've tried to illuminate a little bit too today, but we can't like give you the gory details or anything." Uh, we're figuring it out, and seeing some of this turn on him is just just so disheartening to see. Uh, send Scar your love and support, but please in no way think this is all about him in some way. That's just completely unfair. Um, Big Crack, thank you ever so much for the Prime description. Greatly appreciated, my dude. Nestor Atos says, what the, the frick? Why would you blame someone for the sickness? That's just no. I, it, I think it will be a younger, more immature, perhaps portion of the audience where when they comment online they're thinking primarily about what do I want oh I think and again you know just assuming or fabricating I think oh it must be this reason that's not cool because I don't get what I want it's like a really unhealthy way to uh, interact with with us and uh, yeah when you know when things don't go your way in life you know don't Blame others. Don't make it about someone else. I was just wondering if lowering it like that was a little nicer. Uh, N Taro Kerrigan, thank you for two months. Dark Dan Four, thank you for the prime. Greatly appreciated. We got the little red panda coming in with some cheers and some biddies, saying, "What is your favourite build that you built slash collaborated on? And what is your favourite build that you did not build slash collaborate on?" Hermitcraft is such a rich history that it's really difficult to pull things like that uh, kind of out of the air. So whatever like comes to mind, I always consider to be like sort of unfair. So the thing that popped into my head when you said that was actually Slipgaters. I think he called it the Fulcrum in season three. I always I always love that build. It's a very iconic build. It's a bit old school. It's very ambitious for the time. Um, so that one comes to mind. I, I'm really bad at answering these questions though because it's just it's like a blur. It's like oh my god, we've done so much. Uh, hi, I guess. Thank you for gifting a sub to Britain DC for three months. And Caspat Gaming, thank you for the cheers and Billy saying even if it was all due to Scar, which I'm sure it's not entirely, that would put me in even more favour of the Hermits for delaying uh, their own content to support him. Yeah, let's not let's not speculate on it though, right? That, that's the point. Let's not make it about Scar. Is what I'm trying to say. Whatever, whatever you think is going on, just like leave him to recover. Like this is the thing, as a content creator, your audience puts pressure on you. Now, this isn't the audience's fault and it's not your fault. It's just, it's a dynamic relationship. There's a slider. For some people, the audience doesn't put pressure on them. For others, it put tons of pressure on them. I don't know where Scar considers himself on that scale. For me, it goes all over the place. My moods go up and down. Sometimes I read a comment and it gets to me. Probably less and less with time as you get more 
uh, you know, you, you kind of like understand the dynamic more. But like, it's everything's connected, so always be mindful. Um, heaps of fun. Thank you for the prime. And Nana Sinister Sisters is here. With a donation saying, as far as I was able to see from chat, most people would like to know a few days in advance, so maybe whenever he was ready to launch, given a few days' hype, it would be great for all parties. Just supporting that idea. Mm, excuse me. Thank you for the donation. That is the uh, note that I wrote down a moment ago, just to say, maybe we can say when it's coming out, when everyone's got their videos ready, you know? And then gives everyone that anticipation. Lasan says, I'm late, what's happening? We're having a Hermit Craft Town Hall. We've been discussing Season 9. And uh, Grey Stover, thank you for gifting subs. Greatly appreciated. Lin Larry, Yowaka, Dr. Copter, Kyrect, and Vinara9. Y'all been gifted subs. Be sure to say thanks in the chat. We also got cheers and biddies from Berry Man D saying, It made me teary eyed when I saw Scar's last video. And I'm 50 plus. Much love to Scar. Which one was Scar's last video? I thought it was a uh, regular episode, right, of the Hardcore series. Maybe I missed something there. Thank you for the biddies, dude. The tier 3 allows you to play on an SMP with a sumo, says Panda and B. Now, not with me. It's my communal server. I played on the first season of it. I made a series on my main channel called Let's Play Minecraft Together. And it was like Vanilla Plus. It was sort of like what I would love to do on Hermitcraft. It's got things in it like resettable dimensions, um, resettable ocean monuments, um, there's trophies, there's like in-game blocks that you can design and bring into the world, and there's uh, players on there who create lore and storylines, and there's just like a lot of extra stuff. It still kind of ends up being a vanilla world, it's like if you were to play it with the data pack you would have all the extra little bits and bobs that have sort of been brought in. Some of the some of the tech on it though would be lost, like the resettable dimensions, but those are for mining stuff. So yeah, it's like a vanilla plus plus type server. How do I not hate my own world, says Dog Steves. I don't know dude, I don't know why you'd hate a Minecraft world. Hate's a strong feeling um, and it's just a computer game. Like maybe don't take it too seriously and just enjoy your time there. Uh, will the Hermits be buying plots of land in the shopping district like Season 7, says Tate? No idea. Just have to wait and see. Can you talk a bit about the Season 8 in retrospective, the season being experimental in particular? Do you think it worked out uh, what and what not? MoCal, there is a video over on my Asuma Says channel, um, which is all about that. I think it's one of the most viewed videos on the channel, so it shouldn't be hard to find. If you go to, uh, if you go to YouTube and search for Asuma Says, you'll find you'll find that video easy peasy and like just full set of thoughts and all that stuff from me will you ever switch to bedrock edition says love dust very unlikely i believe bedrock has one really big problem it's got two one is redstone the other is movement movement is like really clunky and odd compared to keyboard and mouse on uh on this one right here also just assassin in chat hey dude how's it going Hope all is well. Spend for Zen says too much secrecy can backfire and cause people to lose interest. I feel like you're making a point because you want to know something. <laughs> uh, Tridemption, thank you for two months. I mean, this has been the opposite of a secrecy stream. This has been a let's tell you about stuff stream, right? Pretty much. I think this podcast type stream builds more hype for the season than anything else to Cynical. You could be completely right. I mean, I was absolutely amazed at the amount of people that turned up today and are still here. I mean, cheeky plug, hit that follow button. Um, I'm going to be stream. What did I say I was going to do? I'm going to be streaming uh, some stone block. I was considering playing City Skylines again. I don't know if I'm going to do that. But uh, when the season starts, when it does start, I'm going to be, you know, I think... I try and coordinate it so the first week we do a whole bunch of streams. And y'all can enjoy that early game stuff. Make Netherite the new currency, says Bedwen. You know, as a natural currency, it's sort of useful until you got your first set of uh, like Netherite armor. I think I think uh, the diamonds the diamonds like just sort of retain that value even though they're like the value has diminished ever since like mending came along and whatnot. Let's get a good shot of this thing here. 
yeah, diamonds like the value has diminished, but it's still it's still like the currency of the game to trade with. Netherite is just I don't know, it's a little odd to use as a currency. Um, people are saying it's like too scarce. The thing with it being scarce though is that it just means like it would be like trading diamond blocks instead of diamonds. The proportions would figure themselves out in the market, so to speak. Uh, the Light Cuisine is here some Cheers and Biddy saying, Do you still keep in touch with any former hermits like Slip or Biffa? Yeah, I, um, I'm, I'm always reachable with the older hermits. I don't talk to a lot of people on a regular basis outside of Hermitcraft as it is. Uh, Biffa's someone that I've always kept in touch with. And uh, I still like watch bits of his City Skylines videos from time to time. I really want to learn how he fixes traffic, but like, I just, I don't like, I, I watch stuff like in one ear out the other, like entertainment, like, you know, while I'm, while I'm cleaning or whatever, I've got something on, which reminds me I've got to go clean the kitchen after this stream. Uh, Sashay away, thank you so much for subscribing, greatly appreciated. X, you could use Amethyst Crystals as money. Yeah, the problem there is that they're farmable, so like immediately anything you're selling, someone can just farm it very easily, you know. Roundabouts, how Biffa fixes traffic, says Susan. Yeah, it's not just roundabouts, it's using all those tweaks to properly set them up. Because I played City Skylines, and with the default traffic, the roundabouts are effective to a point. And then, then all of a sudden you need customization to make them operate better. Enan says, getting older means less time I have to watch Hermitcraft. I hate late teenage. Dang, I, was th I thought you were going to say you're in your 30s or something. Got responsibilities, kids to look after. I, like, I didn't think teenage years. Dang, to be a teenager again. I had all the time in the world when I was a teenager. Just didn't know what to do with it. Rejoin the truck with, uh, chat with Doc and Ren. My chat was telling me that Doc and Ren had left. I can see that Doc's still here, actually. Be out there so much. Hello. My uh, my chat right. told me that you had left. No, oh, I'm here. I'm just wrapping it up right now. Oh, so, yeah. cool. Yeah. All right. What's the conclusion? Um, <laughs> conclusion is it was great. Yeah. It was great, and um, we should do this again. And I'm looking forward to season nine. That's my conclusion totally. of this dream thing. Exactly, I feel exactly the same. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the precious, it's a little hello, so precious. Hello, somebody's still there? VTuber. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You know, you're also getting older. You, as you see, you know, my beard now is fully gray. You see that? Got so a gray at beard. some point, yeah, it's sometimes you feel like, you know, I mean, to, to constantly shove your face into the camera, you kind of get too old. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> As we don't, you know, we don't we don't do so much personality cult on the, on the server. We are more... Uh, the content is, is what is more important for us, making good Minecraft content and storytelling and so on. So I guess I can do this for another 20 years, you know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> that don't worry man I'm cocky anyways I know I look good you know so don't you worry you think you're going to be <laughs> making videos for another 20 years then most likely I have and no other plans at the moment if I hit a second <laughs> decade on YouTube I've got to do some reconsidering <laughs> <laughs> I like, I, 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 it's wonderful but you can't do the same thing forever I don't know well, maybe you can Anyway, Doc, Why it's been not? a pleasure. I'm going to um, hang out with my chat for a little bit longer and then yeah. and sign off as well. Exactly. Cool. All right. See you later, man. Take care, dude. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, as Doc said, that went exceedingly well. Uh, really, like, it was also because it was a spontaneous response to a situation. It put us in a new situation together where just getting together to, you know, record and build is, like, a lot of fun. Blue Bottle, thank you for 65. Months, greatly appreciate it, my dude. I like these little bits like this. I want to put them in the other side. Yeah, it was nice, says Cloud Zero. Yeah, it's been re really positive experience, and I hope uh, y'all have been uh, communicated too well. What else would you do? X Music, says Adorable Muskrats. Absolutely. 
Absolutely. I've already had like a, I've had a, like a fair taste of that over the break recently, just working on music related stuff, and I absolutely love it. I can. I've always said this, like just totally go to that space and be there. And uh, yeah, so if you don't know, I I published some songs that I'd written, two of them over on the Soulside Eclipse channel. I put my album up on Spotify. I recorded some videos of me playing guitar. It's just been a bit of a musical experience, really. And I really want to be able to keep that in my, like, air quotes routine. Or, you know, may, may, it'll probably end up being next time there's a break between Hermitcraft seasons that I do some music again. But, like, I really want to f manage my time well so that I can fit that in, you know? And have that be something I get to do from time to time. I'm currently trying to resurrect my lost in time demo files so that I can continue working with those but I've got like a an issue to sort out with all the percussive percussive stuff if I can get it fixed then I could quite easily crack back into that sound set and work on some music because basically it's like I have a template for the sounds that I can use to assemble songs and uh, that's how I want to approach certain stuff like Get a bunch of sounds together and then explore that through different songs. But yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I think uh, I think right there is where I'm going to wrap it up. This has been an amazing stream. I want to thank everyone for tuning in. Um, please do stick around. We're going to go raid uh, a random channel, I think, today is what we'll do. Uh, unless there's another Hermit streaming or something like that. Hey, look. Cubs streaming. Awesome. So uh, we'll go, we'll go raid Cub Fan. Send Cub some Hermitcraft love, right? There we go. Well, a big thank you to everyone who subscribed, resubscribed, donated, and cheered. Thanks to all my patrons. Thank you to the mods. Thanks to all the peeps gifting the subs. Be sure to hit that follow button, then hit the raid button, and I guess I'll see you soon with another live stream. Take care, everyone. Bye bye. <laughs>